This is Solid Snake, and you're listening to Three Black Geeks. So pay some damn attention. She wears underwear with dick holes in them. the uh, 2018 version of Superfly and uh, I was very hard on this movie because we had just did we had just stop did right there. stop right there hard Chris hard me when have you ever been hard on a movie D I gave this movie a 5 out of 10 when I saw it in theaters this is a YouTube video to prove that it earned every every bit of those and five I got points. like every bit of those no, no, five no, no, points no, 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 it no, no, deserved. No. Eris, Eris, when he said five, it's like that's hard for you. That's hard. No, 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 no. <laughs> I got so much shit from black folks because I gave it a five out of ten. And hey, I'm it deserves like, every. Hey, it Chris. deserves every point hey, of those Chris. five points. Be a man. Stick to it. No, 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 no. I'm sticking to it. Don't get it wrong. Still a fucking five out of ten. What I mean by... Well, I should get a four, to be honest with you. What I mean by I was hard on it, it's because at that time that this movie came out, we had just did a podcast on the old uh, Superfly movie at the time. We had fun with that episode. Guys, you should definitely listen to the episode. We got a lot of laughs out of it. And I went into this remake expecting it to kind of be the same in a way because i didn't see the trailer for it at all i just heard about the movie and i want people to understand this movie got filmed in five months so that should tell you all you need to know about like five that's months not, that's five not months bad. That's not stop, bad. stop stop that's stop not bad. stop it that stop. ain't bad no dude stop it five, five months, months. It looked like it was now funny. it ain't tyler perry no 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 no, around, no, but no that's no. why i said shit. no let me get this out five months it should look like it was filmed in eight weeks I mean, it ain't quite Tyler Perry quick turnaround, but I mean. And you had all of Atlanta as your playground. Trust me, eight weeks of this went into just filming. Uh, uh, sir, this movie oozes. I, I guarantee you, if Priest cut himself on a wrist, Atlanta bleeds out of him. How? How? This movie oh, don't. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me finish my joke. How? If you cut him, it will bleed Atlanta. What do you mean? You'll cut him, it will bleed somebody from a different state? If you cut this me, movie, no, 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 let me, Atlanta. No, no, if you cut this movie, it's like, I smell a lot of D.C., Chicago, Florida, North Carolina in this. <laughs> and yeah, I this... smell a, is that a hint of Memphis? I think it is. <laughs> um, this movie... I smell the Texas in it, too. I smell the Texas in it, too. This is a movie directed by uh, Director X, who... No, Lil X. Little X. Well, yes, it was. It was all uh, directed in a short time. That's why I don't not movies for being directed in a short amount of time. I don't. It's directed by Little X, and I had no director idea. X. Even, Say the, director X. It's director Lil X. X. It's Little X. But Lil anyways, X. he did. Mus- he done oh, music videos. We knew that nigga back in ninety seven. It's Little X. He's done music videos, and I had no clue that he actually was a part of. I Billy. feel like you knew that. Now here's the funny thing, Chris. This is not this is not me knocking you. This is not a knock. This is the that because we reviewed Belly at least three times in a kind of a way. So so I feel like you should have known that. Like like but also, like, you know, but also the way but, but also being like, you know, we we let's be real, 3BG when it comes to our relationship with black Twitter, we're outside looking in. So understand when this movie dropped. There was a lot of belly comparisons, and people were really had the audacity, the fucking audacity to say belly is better than this movie. I'm like, no, 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 in one area. Where? It only beats it in one area, and I really mean this. And this is not saying much about both, because both are pretty weak. Soundtrack. Okay, that's fair. Both are pretty weak, because much like... Thank you, Eris. Because much like the filming of this movie... I like, I love rap. I to this day, I love all types of rap. Mm. You mean to tell me you had the whole playground of Atlanta, 
and this is all you gave me. Future and a bunch of his friends. This is That's the best you gave me. Future threw money at this movie to get his soundtrack That's in it. this movie. Like much and and same thing goes with Belly. Belly's only slightly better, but it's like wow, it's so old B side from Def Jam, huh? Go. Because yep. <laughs> let's just break it down. Every single B side. Because let's just break it down. You have outside of Lil John, obviously, you got Future. You know, you got uh Young it's Chop. Like three song on this. Yeah, Young Chop. He's on it. Uh G Herbo. Herbo, yeah, he Herbo did have a song on there. Uh, Southside. Uh 21 Savage. 21 did have a song on there, but it wasn't a good one. It wasn't a good one though. Expect, uh, he's expected to be on this. Continue. Uh, Party next door. Yeah. Next. Yeah. Uh Hood Celebrity. Hold on, hold on. Actually, let me stop. Party next door. This is when him and Drake were having a fight. So lame party next door. Thank you. Uh, like I said, <laughs> next. Yeah. Um, young bands. Young bands. Wow. Thank you for that. Wow. I did not even look. I look. I'm gonna say they're not together. Watch. It's gonna be DK of all people. Nigga, they just put a mixtape. You know they don't count with me. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Rich the kid. Wow. I haven't heard that name in a minute either. <laughs> uh. Well, yeah, this is tw- this is 2018. This uh, movie's not even that sleep, old. Sleepy Brown, Sleepy Brown, man. Hey, Sleepy, how you doing, bro? Uh, Young Thug. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Young Thug had a couple, and the oh, rest. Thugger. Is- it's Thugger. I ain't got a bad word to say about Thugger. Go and ahead. the re- and the rest of the songs is Future. Yeah, yeah, weak. Hold on, hey D. Yeah, D. What's the joke you hit with every old head? I know what y'all about to say. Look at D. Hey, hey, dude, Mr. 70s. Yeah, I know us young guys and our music. <laughs> Name a Curtis um, Mayfield song that isn't on Superfly. I'm going to wait, nigga, because I know my daddy raised me oh, right Oh, time so. out. Well, I forgot, I forgot one I more. Hit, I hit well, all of the families. No, no, no. D, all D. Of them, look, 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 this is what I do. <laughs> Go ahead, young blood. Here's me. You don't know, do you? No, no. <laughs> no, D. <laughs> and then the moment. The moment they can't answer it, here's me. Well, according to this little list here. <laughs> you. <laughs> well, sir. But let me ask y'all this, though. I, I forgot I need, one. Like, well, sir, I think it says on here, you need to shut up and fuck off when it comes to rap music, nigga. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot one more. One more, D. And I'm assuming he might be, she, she might be under his label, uh, Cash Doll. I forgot she did this on here. You know what? I know of her. I don't know her. Okay, Cash Doll. Cash Doll. Cash Doll also did a couple of songs. Yeah, Cash Doll also did a couple of songs on here too. So, so that's but still, but see, here's the thing. I can't knock. You can't knock um soundtracks anyway because they're soundtracks, especially today. Like especially, thank you, especially especially today. today. Especially today. Like movie soundtracks, in my opinion, are nothing. Like what they were in the nineties. Oh not yeah, she she's, 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 like here's the funny thing: how are we Every two decades? Then, no, how are we two decades past the peak, and we like still haven't caught it again? It's it's funny, Eris, because every now and then a movie will get it. Yes, yeah. they'll get it. Yeah, okay, but that's not, the problem. That the, you no, D, you're D, not that's hyped up for the music of the movie. That's what you I'm know saying. What I mean? D, that's my problem. Is is that we got to wait for it every now and then? You know. Back then, Damn. yes, we're, yes, we're dating ourselves. Back then, it was it was event. every it was movie. Event. It was it was event, but... it was every movie had something amazing from its soundtrack. I will say this though, Eris. I will say this though. Much like um, mo- um, not movies, music being easier to stream. There's different ways of uh, artists making money and all that. That's I think that actually kind of figures out into it too. And the same thing goes with when it comes to record labels and when it comes to um, movies and all the rest of that. And I think it, it is so it is just so weird that I guarantee you, Eric, uh, Chris, when they, everybody was saying that Belly was better than this movie, that came up. Wait, I guarantee wait, the soundtrack came up wait, like it stop, mattered. Stop, D. So, so what you're telling me is you're telling me today that we sacrifice the magic for money. Hey, Eris, that was going to happen regardless. I'm not. It was going to happen. Even, look, look, because the way it was now, I better do it in the 90s. I wish it was like that back in the 90s. 
I just want to put out because, here because as more as as a as any industry gets bigger, it's going to get more greedier. It's going to get yeah, but more that's the easier. problem. But you but know that, and I know that, man. Yeah, but that's the but that's the thing, and I, I can't. And that's why I'm saying I can't levy that against a movie. That's no, stupid. but that's what I hate about you know, like when it comes to music. You know, how long? Like, when's the last time you're gonna like? When's the last time we heard something in the last? 10 years that we could say, oh, this shit is timeless. We're going to listen to this like 30 years from now. Are we talking about are we talking about music or are we talking about movie music? Yeah, fuck it, both. Eris, almost every fucking year we get a song that everybody's going to play every fucking every, for the rest of their life. Alright, let me narrow it down. When's the last time we get a movie like this? We get a movie like this. Mm-hmm. You have a that soundtrack. has a soundtrack that we're going to be like, damn, I'm a, like, damn, I ain't listening to this in like 10 years. Here's this the shit, thing. This shit still this, hits. Uh, you want to know why I don't do that? Because I know people that do that shit when it comes to like the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack. It's like, really? It's a your mom, like your mom and <laughs> dad's cheating, best though. hits. See what I'm saying? I can feel I feel that you can do that with any other movie like that. You know what I mean? But every because every movie, hold on, Chris, real quick. Because every movie that has a good soundtrack is like, well, this was a musical. Of course, you see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's what I can't. feel like. You I, know, I can't that's can't. the problem I have. You know? Yeah, and I, I, I like like let me make it very clear. It's, you're talking for me. You are legit talking for me. I just don't have an answer for you. I understand. So everything so, I'm answering back to you is me grasping at a straw. That's all I can say. I so this right here. I, I thank you, my man. I <laughs> said I discovered another part of me because my dad let me watch Rush Hour. And oh, like my, ooh, how ooh, many people rediscovered example. another part of me mm, mm, from good Rush Hour? Good example. It actually happened today. I was at work. And the cranberry song, a cranberry song came on. You know, do do. Ah, ah, do, yeah. I, do, do, do. I was like, this movie. Well, like, that wasn't what movie. And I looked up the song. It was in everything. You're damn right. It's important. That's why, like I said, it's be- like Eris is giving me this question. Like, nigga, I want to answer it for you <laughs> because there is good music being made every day. Why can't you put it in a movie? I don't know. I don't know. So, so, we, so you mean to tell me we got to wait until Hans Zimmer, we got to wait until a uh, Junkie XL or one of these bambas get in there and set the whole thing on fire for there to be a good soundtrack? Is that what you're telling me? That's what it feels like. So and I'm sorry, like and I'm sorry. It, man. It, it really, the, it really feels like that, I, and I. That's hate the it. wall I'm hitting with it. I'm so, so I got you. One of the first, so one of the first things when this movie came out, um, they cast Trevor Jackson as Young Blood Priest, and I knew niggas was mad at that shit, and and people were tight because you gotta understand Trevor Jackson. This is when Blackish was like blowing up, you mm-hmm. know, and he was one of the people. That at the same time that this movie coming out, they did a spinoff called Grownish. It was just starting up, and he was like one of those young actors that was getting praise everywhere. Like he was everywhere. So when they cast him, it's like everywhere. But okay, no, but I'm saying no, no. I always say that because I like doing that to Blackish fans. Blackish fans really think it's the fucking Cosby's, and I'm like easy. (laughs) It is. It is. But it it is. Bring it in. Nope. Nope. I know what y'all see. I see it too. Praise to it. Bring it the goddamn in. <laughs> it is. It is minus the respectability politics. Okay. Oh fuck you! There's respectability in Blackish too. Fuck you and fuck everybody else for thinking that it ain't. I'm so sick of y'all new niggas thinking that y'all new, new niggas. I'm old no, niggas. No, I'm no, just no, no, Chris and Chris. I'm not talking to you. You know who I'm talking about. I'm sick of all y'all new niggas who just came out of college. They want to hit me with these big ass lines and shit. You know you just hit me with new school respectability politics, right? It's just the new school. You shouldn't say this. You shouldn't say that. Why are you still disrespecting people that way? You should do that. You're just sounding like the old people with a different cause. Shut the fuck yeah. up. So, all y'all the same. I'm getting sick of all y'all niggas that got this much of education leaning on niggas like me like I give a fuck about what you think. Blackish is I. Lawrence Fishburne is the fucking star of that show. You can't tell me that he ain't. <laughs> anyway. No, but they, they cast him as Jumbo Please. I remember the first official image they showed him in, and they showed him in that hair. I laughed my fucking ass all off. All right. All right. All right. As a nigga with hair. As a nigga with hair. You have hair, a picture of that? Yeah. yeah as yeah. a nigga with hair, I can say this. <laughs> That's a good perm, nigga. Um, Eris. I, I can't hate it. Eris. As a nigga who gets them. Eris, oh, nigga, 
y'all must have forgot 2018. I came back home. I had this exactly. So it's like so, exactly. So it, it, it came. I loved it. So I'll be I was honest like, that's you. a pimp. <laughs> I, I, you know what? You're right. But here's what I think too. this when I came home. You know what it was? I, I realized what it was. And it comes down to this because black Twitter, we as black people tend to do it all the time. We have expectations of what we thought young blood police should look like. And when they lean heavy on that, like you said, that pimp look with the, the hair, nobody, because even Michael K. Williams' character, his, uh, his mentor was telling him, yeah, you got that fucking whack ass hair <laughs> he said that morris day hair morris day hair and, and, yeah, was, <laughs> no, and, and my like and, and priest over here being young as shit hold, hold, hold up who the fuck is morris day and i'm like oh no and i'm like and black twitter is pissed off at him so it's like they had i thought that was a joke that was a i thought that was just a straight up joke like, yeah, i think it probably like, was a joke. it was a joke everybody know he like, 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 like that nigga's four years younger than me he knows exactly that so, nigga but, but my thing is i think they had an expectation they wanted young blood priest to be like modern looking instead of having that hairstyle and i'm like i guess i get it but it's fine so what you want so what you wanted to have him run around with the caesar probably no i think they I, you know what that's the thing. I think people, like you said, expectations are always going to be high when it comes to um, anybody, when it comes to shit like this, because they wanted to remind them of what they know. You yeah. know what I mean? They wanted to remind them. Of that. And, and the one thing that I wanted, to, I, that I really, before I even seen the movie, I always stress it out to everybody. That was 1974. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was 72. That was 72. 1972. That was 1972. I don't think so how you make, I don't think how, y'all know. I don't think y'all know how old 1972 really is. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> it's look, I love Ron O'Neill. Ron O'Neill is one of the one is not a pioneer, but he's somebody to remember when it comes to black actors. Look at this. Ron Bruh. O'Neill. Look, Bruh. I love you, Ron. Look at that forehead, nigga. <laughs> That's a yellow nigga. That's a yellow nigga that looked like he poses that same way like that girl he's standing on. <laughs> let me tell you something. That, no, let me tell you something else. Hey, D, I'm gonna make a, No, I'm gonna make a terrible joke here. This uh-huh. is what this is what 21 looked like in 1972. <laughs> Ron, I'm sorry. Like I'm sorry. I, no, I'm sorry. I'm mean. 25. I meant Ron this already looked. Now, I don't know if this is true. I don't know if it's true because I ain't even looking at Ron O'Neill right now, but Ron O'Neill looked like a nigga that fought in Vietnam already. <laughs> He's he seen came. some shit. He seen, he some, seen shit. some shit. So I'm about to kill everybody. <laughs> about to take them all out, baby. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, oh, so, so like you got Ron that happening, facts. right? So now, young so now, you, so you, so you have that. Wait, hold but, on, hold on, Chris. He's a young blood priest. Looks like Morris Day after he fired Terry Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need you to stop, sir. Even though it's true, even though it's true, I'm gonna need you to stop. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's actually a good one. Oh, yo, I will say that, but young blood, like whatever a pimp is in your mind, is not going to be what you think it is. You had to do somebody that's modern, somebody because the modern, the modern. I guess aesthetic of what you think Young Blood Priest is going to be is going to be somebody that comes off just like Young Blood did in the old Superfly, and that's where D comes in to tell this to everybody. Young Blood Priest is a protagonist in a video game. Yes, he is. Oh, there is no, no way. No, no, no. no wait, no, D, you know what he? Hold no, no, on, right. I got, I got it for you, D. Real quick, just, 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 go, 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 go. just real quick. Young Blood Priest, he's not just a video game protagonist. He's a video game protagonist on New Game Plus. You know what he is? He already got all I'm his shit. I'm going to get knocked for this. <laughs> I'm going to get knocked for this. But, Chris, New Game Plus Kiryu Kazuma. That is what he is. This yeah. nigga does not flinch. This motherfucker technically does not lose. Just like Kiryu would when you go through Yakuza the second time around. <laughs> it is just, you're unstoppable, yo. Know? Yo, just, I, just to prove I hate you. how OP he is. I hate how smart he is. You want to know all of that? You want to know how OP uh, Priest is in this movie? All right. Not even 20, not even 20 minutes in, I saw how OP he was. My man dodged a bullet. 
I, oh my god. Are you are you gonna pull up the nature dodge? Like, what are y'all about to pull up that matrix dodge? <laughs> then I got <laughs> go. Like who got it? I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Let me find this up. The ma- no, nah, nah, not the club scene. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, I caught this at the best time with a frozen right there. I was like, he, it's a good shot, but at the same time, the way he dodges, like Zhoo. I'm like, fuck you, movie. Fuck you. <laughs> My man said, let me just lean to the left real quick. <laughs> and yo, and you heard the bass. <laughs> like, yo, the guy oh, that is shooting the gun is uh Juju of the uh Snow Patrol. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I hated this character with so you, much passion. I I called boy. him great. I called him great value soldier boy, but I was wrong. D, D corrected me. He's nah, not. I actually like this dude as an actor, but real talk, he is everything I hate about niggas who are five years younger than me. He, he is this man. You know what I it hate is about them. I want people he to understand every nineties born dude that I have a beef with. That's why Here's I the problem with like Juju. Him. It's not enough that the leader of the Snow Patrol, who is basically a great value, Biggie Smalls. Hey, dude, um, hey Chris, who's the Snow Patrol? The Snow Patrol. Third Street Saints. The, yep. The Snow Patrol is a group of people who clearly are uh, very color coordinated, even down to their weapons. Yes, their weapons are white. Like I white said, this is weapon. This is what I said to you guys after I got done watching this movie. Holy shit! This is not Belly. This is Saints Row. The if movie. they kill, really if, is, if, yeah. if the snow, if a Snow Patrol person murdered somebody, they would even the police would immediately know it's a Snow Patrol because the fucking Glock is white. Hold on, so, D. Fucking, of course, it's the no, fucking no, no, Snow Chris, Patrol that did it. And Chris, hold on. And even if they did it, and there was no witnesses, no cameras. If anybody from Snow Patrol was stupid enough to leave the weapon at the scene of the crime. Their ass is already getting caught. All the ooh, weapons, ooh, ooh, all the ooh. fucking vehicles, everything all white is white. Hey, I hope. Imagine it's I even hope white. That, that's what I'm saying. I hope, I hope and pray to God, y'all don't. When y'all smoke blunts, they're not white boys. I really hope they not. <laughs> I really don't, man. Like These I niggas. just, I just want to say this, Juju, from scene one. He sees Priest and he's already like a nigga hating him off rip. Like, Bro. I hate Priest. Fuck that nigga. You, man, fuck that nigga, man. You already seen, seen, no, he you talks seen like one of them. He talks like that. You, fuck that nigga, man. You seen, the way, him, nigga. you seen the way that this Talk me like that, man. Like, D, you seen the way that this motherfucker was leaning. He was just doing this the whole time. He hating. was drunk. And, no, and I'm going, oh, he's not just drunk and hating. He is Light skin drunk oh, hating. He's the pro. I saw him. The he went I full him. light skin drunk hating. When he when the light skin niggas do that little thing where they look down like that, <laughs> I'm like, oh, he's gonna be the problem in the movie. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. And I agree. There's more problems in this movie than the Snow Patrol. No, wait, D, hold on. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> add this in here. Okay, yes, I give that counterpoint. The cocaine definitely gave him plus 29 on speed. <laughs> Didn't help his ass any any much though. So. No, I'm talking about Priest when he dodged that bullet. <laughs> I mean, but he I mean Priest don't do cocaine though. That's the thing. So yeah, no, just no cocaine. him being in possession of it. <laughs> oh, okay. Nah, nah, nah. Once you find your see, see, nah, nah, see, I'm smarter than everybody. I know stuff. <laughs> That's his big thing that he knows everything. And I thought to myself, fuck you. And I thought, hey D. Remember at the end of uh, Superfly, yeah. Remember they got um they got Priest and Priest said you ain't gonna do nothing to me because I got somebody that's bigger than you. Yeah, that's right. I got killers, real killers, white killers, white ones, baby. You ain't gonna do nothing to me. And I was like this. Oh my god, they wrote him exactly the same that they. Oh my god, the Superfly, like, like Superfly movie. Nah, nah, Freddy's Dead was a good song, so no. <laughs> now, 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 we're talking about Priest, so we might as well just get it out the way right now. Now, um, Sue felt as though um, uh, 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 Youngblood Priest's uh, girls were... Oh, uh, I'm going to say it. No. Were very mid. No, very no mid. they are. Like, damn it, very y'all. mid. No, cr- very Chris. mid. Chris, let, can I please say it? Do we have a picture of any of these? Do we have a picture of them? I yes, only no. Got- 
Yeah, there we go. There we Hi, go. Hi, this one. is mid number one. Can I get mid number two, please? <laughs> mid number one. Now, I, I will put this way. I'll say this. I will agree with you on this one. I get it. I am going to disagree on mid number two. Wait, 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 wait. Are you going to talk about Priest's girlfriend? I'm sorry. She looks like a, a, a news anchor. So I don't know why we're going to act like she's. I mean, she's she, cute. She's, she's cute. cute. She's cute, but just mid. Mid. Just, I, mean, look, I hate to say this, Chris. Chris, I hate to tell you this. Go to Bowie State. There's 18 of them. You know what? I'm keeping it. No, I'll keep it in the Atlanta. But, but isn't that. Hold on. I, no, no, Chris. I'm going to keep it all. Keep I'm it gonna in Atlanta. Keep, I'm going to keep it all. Atlanta, I'm going to keep it all the way Georgia peach Atlanta. All right. I step outside my house. I see at least 20 of her. At least 20. This four bitches. 20 before I even get down. I mean, 20 before I even get to the end of the block. Chris, there's four bitches in the K that are going, <clears throat> I look better than her, and they look exactly like her. The point is, I get you on the first one. The second one, eh, that's, I agree nah, to disagree. Agree to disagree. That's the type of girl Chris like. That's why I did <laughs> Not even no, but that's not, that's not even it. it. You are terrible. That's so that, obvious. That is not, that, that, I'm dead serious. That's not it. I feel, put this way. The first one, I get. The second one is like, I agree to disagree. Nah, I the get first it. One, nah, the first one, Eris. First one. D what? Don't say it, D. The first one looks like a porn star you see in like two porns, and then she like disappears. She disappears. And you never see her. <laughs> she didn't even disappear. Which, she, no, which, no, no, no. D, D, she doesn't remember disappear. That, no, D, remember that episode of dis- Dog Fall? <laughs> no, D, she doesn't disappear. She evaporates on evaporates. set. Evaporates. Next thing you know, you be online. Huh. Somebody find out where she is. Oh, man, she got a, she, she got three kids. Christian, hmm. let's see that coming. No, the, <laughs> the, 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 po- the polyamorous dynamics between the three, it was okay, uh, but it was like the movie didn't that the, the movie nah. didn't, the movie didn't make me give a shit about old girl getting killed. To where I was like, there was no dynamic there. You know what the dynamic was? <laughs> Yeah, baby, it's you and me. I love you. You my best one. And I love you, my comes wife. In there out of you my no, hold on, Chris. Yeah, that's right. You my wife. Now we got a third one in here, so I can fuck both of y'all at the same time. That's a manly thing, cause I'm a man. Again, people, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Here's the thing: polyamorous, poly relationships. I don't know. I don't. I don't care about them. You whores have fun. I ask. I'm gonna call y'all whores for for different reasons, but Not I respect. The, but I respect the ones that actually do try to put out a positive um you know, energy with it and try to say that these relationships can work yada 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 That's blah 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 Mormon. i'm sorry d is just gonna say this no y'all all like fucking no. you all like it's fine yeah. it's fine that you're a unit now with it <laughs> which i gotta be real like listen let me listen. that's that's um, a miracle wait. if you can find a situation where you're listen, a unit you know what? and i listen, feel listen. like a dude thinks wait, that listen, he's in control quick. it's like no you're not no Stop. real quick real quick real quick listen Thing for me, but enjoy the syphilis. Uh, moving on. <laughs> um, no, nah, but my thing. So, so you got. So you have yes, all these. Yes, so he you, is. Yes, he is. So, Young so, blood priest is a shitty loop in the third. No, no, no he's no. not. Don't no, even he's, do that. To him. He's looping the third minus the disguises. No, no, Eris, 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 Eris. You'll get this, Eris. No, uh-huh. he's mouse. Don't do that. Ow. Don't you dare. Try so, to approach. What you trying to what? Don't you act like that? Like we're seeing brown suit Lupin because we're not. Don't you dare do that to him, sir. So, mouse. so on top of that, so, so what's we, mouse? Look it up. It's terrible. So, <laughs> on top, so on top of that, so this this is basically because that, like I said, the opening club scene, you get everything about Priest. We get the fact that he has a poly relationship. Clearly, he's digging the one chick that you know, Georgia. That's the name of the chick. His main chick, pretty much. That's the one he was. Oh, like, boo! Yeah, boo. that's the one. That's the one that the movie really blatantly in your face tells you, oh, he's trying to wipe her up. He ain't trying to wipe the other one up. See, 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 son. No, 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 no. Hold on. See, man, we, we made moving, right? Man, she trying to get with Georgia, nigga. You won't get with Georgia, man, because Georgia, that's the bitch you want to take home. Literally, fucking up some comments, nigga. <laughs> So, <laughs> the opening scene when dude Juju is out there, Clayton, and you know, you know, priest dodge, uh, bitches dodges it. He, what's your uh, name, uh, Georgia? Bitch, you from Kentucky? I'm sorry, I had to get that off my chest. So, <laughs> so, some random chick that was just chilling outside the club, ready to go to fucking there, ready to go to Waffle House, gets capped Man. in the fucking stomach, and I'm like, God damn! Like, you know what? You know what? 
that fight scene came out of nowhere too because I wasn't prepared for this nigga to do a whole ass roundhouse kick. It hey, hey. my man Juju did the fight. The only difference is so we he didn't do that Juju. He all flipped Juju over. Hey, the only difference is we didn't see fucking Priest and fucking Scatter. Priest didn't do the fucking shimmy on Scatter when they when they sparred. So you know, man, I'm actually mad that we didn't get a full on CQC the way I really wanted it in this movie. It threatened. Oh, it threatened. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, dated. look, look, look. Apparently, fucking <laughs> young blood Priest knows fucking Brazilian jiu jitsu courtesy of Scatter. Man, that's stupid, man. Superfly didn't. He knew kung fu. Exactly. Shitty Stop. kung fu, but it's kung fu nonetheless. It was shitty. Oh, it was a good old. Oh! Ooh, kung fu, the Whoa. good and shitty. Kind. Would you believe See, that people were pissed off of that that aspect of him? People were really mad that he was doing. That. I'm like, guys, do you remember the original Superfly? Like, again, kung fu. Guys. Did like, anybody? Not, did anybody see Superfly TNT where he did? That? <laughs> no, no, no. For everybody complaining, I'm like, y'all really never did watch the original Superfly thank or you. hell or hell any black exploitation film. Fucking from, thank you from the 1970s. Thank One you. of the big things, and I'm and look. And here's the thing: I'd like to get on all the college students for this crap. Oh, really? One of the main driving forces, especially for black men in the Black Panthers, was for us to know hand-to-hand combat. One of the main reasons why it was popular amongst black exploitation movies is because black people was like, yeah, we got to protect ourselves against the cops. And martial arts for black people from the 70s until about the 80s was a big part of us. Plus, so That's why Black Bell Jones is so popular. No, no, no. Hold on. Even better. This is this one's even better. It might be low-hanging fruit, but it, but it doesn't make it. Uh, it is definitely the truth. Black people got a sense of super pride and happiness when we saw a foot this big go across Bruce Lee's chest by one Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Exactly. Exactly. Black people were like, like there's history of us really wanting to do that. And to this day, if you go to certain, um, like certain churches, certain, um, certain, so fuck, certain fraternities, they even tell you. Hey, yeah, man, if you're going to do this, we're going to got to learn a martial art or something. At least go into karate class, learn how to defend yourself. Yes, that is the thing amongst black people. So let's take it to the next level. And when you got money, oh, you fucking right. I'm going to learn Brazilian jiu jitsu. Jiu- 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 <laughs> The shit that Royce Gre- look, the shit that Royce Gracie teaches. That's what I'm going to. Also, you know, uh, also, let's 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 really think about this. Now, I know we talked about how much we don't. I mean, how much we noticed how OP Young Blood Priest is in this movie. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I gotta go back. I gotta go back again to the uh, to the black exploitation films, man. Your shafts, your super flies. Uh, a uh, freaking uh, Willie Dynamite, like, 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 like Willie, like Willie, like <laughs> Willie Dynamite, Black Dynamite, all these freaking black exploitation films. Let me tell you something, because this, because these are black at the time, black superhero movies, they had to be op. They were gonna be op regardless. The reason why Shaft is such a big thing is because when white cops talk to them, you need to back the fuck up. <laughs> like they were like, yeah, I mean, you cool, man. I mean, come on, you even cool, in man. even in movie, like even like even in movies that weren't necessarily black exploitation, but you had a black guy in it that knew I mean, that do some uh, some martial arts. I mean, come on, you know how Jim Kelly felt when the cop told him, "Where are you going, Jig?" He was ready to roundhouse kick that motherfucker. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I yeah, say that's this. right. Look, uh, and Dolomite, yeah, that's this right. Jig's got a briefcase. <laughs> no, I will say. Don't this. Remember, Dolomite, that's right, nigger. We got your gun. What you gonna do? What am I going to do? Oh. <laughs> Here's the thing. I, I did enjoy the one aspect of the opening scene when he rolls up on that rapper Liddy and just starts fucking letting the chopper loose on all, just reading him for filth. Like, uh, and also his entourage, like, so uh, you go to church, you going to tell your parole officer you got a gun and you got an ankle bracelet? Uh, oh, 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 I mean, oh, no. dude, like, you're broke. You. It's like, yeah, like, ain't your girl, ain't she due in about a week? She oh, in and, the hospital? And, and, and your side chick pregnant And too? your side piece, too? Mm. Mm. You know what? Why don't you just put them both together <laughs> so you can save you the back and forth with your fake fur coat wearing ass? <laughs> and then you looked at Lily like, yeah, you're broke. You might want to get on the road and uh, start touring and get them commas up so you can pay me back. So uh, go ahead and oh, give man. me the keys to that car. I like how my I niggas... I taking the keys. Here's the thing I like about this because I got a bit... Future probably seen this happen to a nigga because there are some there are because some rappers who associate themselves with drug like drug dealers they actually did kind of do some of yeah. them do some and of them not really good. I like ones. I like the fact that and I like the fact that the ones that are real drug dealers they exist 
Those niggas who are real, real drug dealers, they exist. And they do that shit to them niggas all the time. Like, yeah, that's nice. I got a question, nigga. So when you made that track, yeah. So who was you talking about? <laughs> no, who was you talking about, my nigga? Because you wasn't talking about me. Because I know you were not talking about me and what I do. <laughs> so you did that crime, right? <laughs> Cause that sounds like the thing I did. No, you shut the fuck up, nigga. Cause if you, cause, cause if right now, about, no, like, cause, cause you're right talking now, about me, that's snitching. <laughs> cause that's straight up snitching. No, we in a running car for a reason, nigga. Open the door up on this motherfucker. Hey man, go ahead, go ahead. Can you fly, Bobby? <laughs> Dude, the shit that got no, you know the shit that got me. You is know when, that happened to yo, quite a few rappers, young. The one that, that got wanted to play that role, man. <laughs> not even the one that got me was Liddy was like, "Come on, man, just give me a couple of bricks and I, I can flip it." That. And then he looked at him like, hey, uh, look, "Dog, look. you're a shitty drug dealer. Why would I give you a couple of bricks, dog?" Hey, I'm like, look, no, you know what? Stick hey, to you, rapping. Hey, you know what? That's what I love. I actually love that because that happens to rappers too. Some rappers get desperate, and that's why you hear some rappers get caught with bricks on them and shit like that. So I love it. Man, let me just get a brick. <laughs> I know for a fact. Future was like this. Future was like this. Nah, this happened to my cousin. So this is what you do. Right when you about to leave, right? <laughs> my cousin's like, hey, man, let me get a brick. Be like, nah, bro. <laughs> you look at some rappers and some R&B artists that yeah, there's some little yes R and B artists that, that want to act just like Liddy, right? And some of them actually get put on, and when they get put on, I look, I look back at them like, nigga, I can't take you serious, dude. Nigga, dude. you was crying. No, hold on, you did a song crying over a girl. I, mm. and yet you gangster, but dude, Liddy, you moving? Boy. Hold on, you moving? Wait. And I'm not talking, and I'm not talking in the gym, nigga. You moving weight, wait. Hey, Aaron, Aaron, take me. Hold on, Aaron, real quick. Man, Lil Wayne, they had to go with this. Lil Wayne, like this. Um, Slim brother, like, like Slim, that nigga the drug dealer. So, yeah, you know, I had to talk Lil to him. <laughs> to hold on. Lil, like, first of all, Lil Wayne, that nigga shot himself and nearly killed himself trying to look hood. Yo, 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 Lil Slim, like this. I like the initiative. Get him, baby. Yeah, man, you can be my son. My son, nigga. I'm gonna get you locked up. What? Nothing. <laughs> so, that's a please, that's a please no. Oh, a, oh please yes. No. The, please, these please. are part of that conspiracy theory that baby got his own brother locked up. Like, I am know. a part of that conspiracy. Please know that little one. I mean, that little Wayne literally cheddar bobbed himself. Yeah, he did. I, he did. I, I, I think, I think is, what <laughs> saved him was that he cheddar bobbed himself, and they found like where he at. He just robbed that liquor store. He's like hobbling. That's a gangster get him. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is this, like Liddy, but I, the fact that he no, had the, no, real life, real life, knocked on his mama's door. What y'all want? Mm-hmm, hold on, Dwayne, <laughs> get down here. Some niggas want you. What you want with my boy? <laughs> Oh, because he can rap. Yeah, he real good at that. He need to be good at his grades. Mama, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. D, you already know. You already know when they come to the door and she answers, you get that fourth nigga in the back. Hi, Miss Lawrence. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, what's the look? I'm Miss Carter. Hey, baby, how your mama doing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dwayne, no, what I tell you about. <laughs> Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne. What did I tell you about the fact that Liddy had the balls when Priest asked him for the money the first time to go over to his car and turn the vo- turn the volume? I'm like, dog, what are you doing? What are you doing? And his boys come up behind him trying to back him up. I'm like, you owe this guy money, and you're gonna try to fucking put your dick on the table. Not a good look, though. Hold on, hold on. Then he, he decides. No, hey, Chris, and then he decides to add. Not one, but both balls on top of the table by saying anything you got to say <laughs> to me, you, you can, can say, say in front of my people. And then when he embarrassed him, he's well, like, come on, priest. That, come on, hey, priest. Chris, Don't do that. Don't do hey, this, Chris, man. Chris, I can't wait for that day. One of, like, I can't wait for that day. 20 years from now, we put niggas on. Yeah, man, we trying to do, like, we trying to do the 3BG numbers. Mm, mm. Chris, you talk to him because I'm going to fuck his ass <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> three BG numbers. Ooh, ooh, it's gonna be, it's gonna ooh, be three BG numbers, huh? Last I checked two years ago, you weren't doing three BG numbers. Mm-mm-mm. Not even doing them now. Mm. Hold up, this mo- damn hold shame. Up. I was like, hold up, this motherfucker being nice. Y'all motherfuckers ain't hit that shit in five years. Fuck you. The fuck was y'all at? Who got the TV deal? Who's pumping your numbers up? Because uh these numbers ain't looking right. Who's pumping your numbers up? Who who the nigga? Who the nigga that said who hold on, hold on, hold on? And the reason why I went to Chris, and you need to thank Chris. No, thank him right now because I said get rid of you. 
No, no, Thank no, Chris no. now. No, no, no. D, D, D. <laughs> you take him now. No, no, no. D, D, chill out. Chill. Like, D, chill out. Chris, chill out. I got y'all. Motherfucker. Who found you at Chick fil A plus? <laughs> <laughs> What's with the. Notice I'm using future tense. <laughs> no, plus. No, no, okay. Nigga, we found you at the. No, we found you at the. Because this is going to happen. Nigga, we saw you at the Arby's Denny's Plus, nigga. Arby's Denny's Plus. Oh, that's going to happen. <laughs> so I'm going to break down. Get that's this... settled in your mind now. That merge is coming. This is, See, this notice is... I said Chick-fil-A Plus. They ain't merging with nobody. <laughs> they just better now. Why are they better? More chicken. <laughs> It's like basically, it feel like I mean, I mean, if you're no, 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 go- no, D, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Chris. No, D, they're they're plus because they <laughs> stop. They're called Chick Fil A Plus because they finally decided to open on Sunday. That's not no, a no, plus. No, that's no, a no. cross. No, 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 it's not a no, plus. No, no, it's no, a cross. No, no, no. It's a cross. <laughs> No, no, sir. They're sticking to the guns that open it on Sundays. But what they will do oh, is shit. for a special day, they open on midnight. As Sunday goes into Monday for an hour, <laughs> so technically it's Sunday, but it's not really Sunday. Well, oh, don't get Lord's too excited! Hold on, don't get too excited. the Lord's Day no more. Wait, and don't get too excited. It's only the drive-through. <laughs> drive-through yeah, no, yeah, yeah. For, for one hour. For you got one hour. hour to get your chicken sandwich on before they put them orange cones out there to block you from getting any more because they stop. Hey, 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 we understand all you so- sterners are out there. But God loves you, and we're going to try to give you a chance. To I come want in. people come to on. understand Chick Fil A. Get, get some of this Polynesian sauce. <laughs> here's how serious Chick Fil A is. When they shut, the, when they close at ten, they put them orange cones out there. You Dude, they don't not- fuck around with that. <laughs> Hold on, stop, stop. I saw this home. I just realized something, y'all. <laughs> The first co- they start from hold on they start from the finish line working Yo, their way. Nigga, they do what I they do what I did at the Aaron. video store where it's Aaron. like oh it's <laughs> a bad look at y'all bad y'all y'all the fourth one in line and here come that nigga here come that motherfucker dragging the cone looking at his phone playing all playing motherfucker twenty one savage loud as shit what <laughs> like, like the, uh, hold on what. Nah, nigga, I'm at work. I finna leave, man. <laughs> what you trying to do, man? Nah, I ain't caught. How many? How many of them gonna be down there? <laughs> it's always some shit like that. Nah, I'm but like, nah, the, the plus <laughs> comes. The plus comes from them uh, consolidating Chick Fil A's. Like, if you live in the DC metro, area, if you live in the Southern Maryland area, that would be the equivalent of, all right, we shut down the Chick Fil A in Brandywine and consolidated with the one in Clinton. So now it's Chick Fil A plus now. <laughs> this is these superstores of Chick. <laughs> Listen, now, please okay. Under, All right. Please, no, no. All hold right. on. Please Let's get understand. Back to this movie. No, please understand that when we when we're talking down to podcasters, we're only talking down to podcasters who had it coming. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's quite a few of y'all. Who are they? <laughs> I don't even know. Anyway, anyway, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry about, about that. that. <laughs> well, okay. So here's the overall. Oh, plot. hold on, real quick, real quick. Speaking of all this, we're saying. I saw this whole movie. I ain't see one crystal. This is not a fucking Atlanta movie. This is not an Atlanta movie. <laughs> I ain't see a check. Look, I ain't see a checkers or rallies. I ain't see one cookout. Something's wrong. With I didn't this see a cookout. Thing. I didn't see a Waffle House. I didn't see a chick named I Crystal. See, I, I didn't see. see I didn't even see. Either. You know what? You know what? Hey, little X, you, did you not have money for Monica to make a special guest appearance in your movie? Because ATL did. No, here's it. Here's little X. Rick Ross. Okay, fair enough. All right, you fair got enough, it. Fair, right. fair. You got no, it. No, no, no. Here's here. Here's here. That nigga ain't from Atlanta. <laughs> nigga ain't, nigga ain't from, from Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> you got this Day County <laughs> ass nigga in this movie. So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. That is actually an F up. And it ain't like Ross is like, you know, uh, Method Man and um, in Belly, where he came back later on in the movie yeah. or had a role. No. So one, you're one, one scene off, in the movie. So your one off person, your one off is which is going to be a big time rapper. You choose a nigga that's not from Atlanta. He's a drug lieutenant that works with Priest, not in you're Atlanta. You want to choose somebody? Come on, because you know who made that up, Ross. Now here's the thing. Nah, man, I'm a lieutenant fool. Here's now here's work the, outside the, of Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? The overall plot of this oh. movie is. <laughs> It's it's it starts off just like the original movie. Priest wants to get out the game, and by virtue, does it? he wants to does get out he? the game. Yeah, he, he, does, he does. He does. He does, does want to get out the game. That, yeah. He wants to get out the game, 
And but it he, felt like no. Only reason I say that, Chris, and I'm I'm not trying to stop. Okay, yeah. It felt like he didn't say that until until Alberto said something to his ass. Now I want to leave. Like, oh, now you want to leave? Yeah. So like, Whatever. he, wants, right, go ahead, go ahead, he go. wants to get out the game, and by virtue of doing that, that means he wants to expand the drug business to where he can get like a shit ton of money, and then be like, all right, I'm good, peace, I'm out. The problem oh, is, geez. the problem <laughs> is, scatter is like well, number one. The reason why we've been successful is because we've been low key and the cops don't know shit about what we do. And if we try to expand, that means the cops are going to start sniffing around. And I don't want that shit. Well, come on, man. We can do this. We Eddie has his bond. Eddie, <laughs> now, and it's the funny thing. Eddie, who is played by a uh, uh, fucking, um, what's his face? Um, uh, fuck, 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 forgot his name. Um, Mitchell. Uh, Jason Mitchell. Jason who, Mitchell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a long story behind him. But anyways, Jason Mitchell. His character Eddie, he has his back, but Eddie. I know, not- right? Wait a minute, he's not from Atlanta, is he? Babyface ain't from Atlanta, Maybe. is he? Maybe. Man, whatever. Go ahead. <laughs> so anyways, Eddie, unlike Priest, is like, bruh, I like this drug game. Why do you want to leave, man? We got, we're getting money. Like the fuck? Like why? Why do I want to leave this shit? Of course, you know the usual second banana. Oh, uh, the sec, the weak, um, poorly written second bananas. <laughs> like he has, like, like he has his back, but he's just like, dude, I just want to get money and just you know be at the freaking Korean, you know, casino and just roll dice and get money. What the fuck, you know? Man, you know, I want to, you know, I got bigger dreams, nigga. Like what? I don't know, Africa. This is why it's all ready to melt. Look, look, look. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. No, actually, this is a, no. Great stopping point for this one reason. And I'm not going to dwell on it. Africa was a state of mind and all the rest of it. It was never fully Africa. Why? What are you going to do? At least pre said, no, I want to get about the game. I need to get about this game. Do you see this? All the rest of that. Well, Nas like, yeah, we need to get out the game. I'm going to wait till I get shot. Then I get out the game. <laughs> and, and That's what, see what so, I'm saying? Whatever. I'm so, hop and, on a plane with a bleeding leg. So here's the thing. So, so, yeah, so, as a drug dealer that don't pay his taxes, I'm going to get on a, <laughs> sh- I'm gonna get on a plane so up and front, fly across country. So I want people to understand. Up front, the movie, it's very simple. Ridiculous as it is, it's very up front. They gotta contend with Snow Patrol because Juju's hating ass, even though his I boss, swear to even God, though his boss, name, he, Snow he, Patrol. even though his boss, you know, great value Gorilla Zoe minus the W. Gorilla, Gorilla Zoe. Zoe nah, is, I call that. I call him. I called him. Uh, I called him a uh, a uh, 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 Gucci. If he never went to jail, and he just kept eating. <laughs> that would. That's Gucci. That that's Gucci. Gucci. If he kept eating. Well, I, we are living in look, look listeners y'all we are living in the good the good universe where gucci with the jail came out i lost weight i'm gonna love my wife and his wife and his love, wife and his wife put him on p90x to keep that fucking weight off p90x no he only smokes weed and only the amount i give him <laughs> <laughs> he's vegan now okay he's vegan, vegan. <laughs> look, look, look. he's vegan that nigga ain't vegan. look but 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 that's hey, man. hey i seen young. that hey hey, hey like i said i seen good I seen, timeline i seen gucci, gucci man okay i seen, I seen <laughs> gucci eating a fucking cheeseburger at a fucking damn at a, at a fucking damn atlanta game i don't want to i want to hear he's vegan like, hey like, man them I beyond think, burgers be think, hitting though like this beyond burger be hitting. You eating a look like this. This beyond burger be hitting, man. Like you're eating a soap, like you're eating a uh, a hero sandwich. Shh. Tell it is vegan. Tell I got a whole bunch of green on there. There's nothing but ham. Is there even mustard on that thing? <laughs> He's eating the dry. It's a dry. So they have to contend with this, right? Oh God, I missed this shit. <laughs> so they have to contend with that, right? Here's where the movie starts getting stupid. Yes, I know that says a lot, right? It says a lot. It doesn't get stupid, but it does get lucky. One of Priest's boys, who is his muscle, decides he wants to be in the drug game now. Instead of just being the higher goon in muscle, which is the easiest job, which you do a couple of drive-bys, you rough up a Can couple I, of guys up here and there, and that's D it. Does, D has gangsters in his family. I never wanted to be one, but I'm just going to say this. I think drive by, just doing drive-bys, dropping all weed or coke to one spot and just going home and fucking a decent-looking woman. 
Come on, like, it's it's you, you have a what? What's your education? That's a low education, and you do that every day. How much do you make? Black man getting money. Priest I'm sorry. Going. Why are you trying to do more? Priest why are you going. trying to do more? You do, you're bad at word problems. Why are you trying to do more? Chris's boy looked like he dropped out after one semester of community college. That's a nigga. That's a nigga that. That's a nigga that that went to math. Ambition. Play. That's the nigga that went into algebra, and the algebra teacher said, all right, y'all, y equals 15. I'm sick of this white man's education. <laughs> do you know how many niggas? <laughs> you know, you know. Do you know you, how many you, people I actually you, seen in my life <laughs> to get up and storm out the class to actually say white man's education? More times than I know, trust me. Do you want to know? You do know. Um, <laughs> you do know that is not. <laughs> Sorry, Chris is gone. I know, but no, no, no. Listen, listen. You do know that that is not far. <laughs> that really is not far. <laughs> Uh, from something that he was saying, <laughs> considering he said a line earlier in that movie, which was, nigga, we black. Ain't no place on planet Earth safe for us. Yo, he really oh. went the priest was like, I need to speak something to your ear. You're dodging me. And all of a sudden, he talking to Eddie like, man, priest don't want to put me on. And, Eddie's t- and Eddie, to his credit, is looking at him like, dog, you're the muscle. Stay your lane, dude. Not you're making that. money. Like, not only that. What do you you're want st- more? Like, what are you doing? No. Like, dude, you suck at moving bricks. You can't do it. Yo, dude. and it's like, and on top of that, you got a fucking side chick that makes your main chick. And y'all went, y'all, like, y'all, actually, no, his main chick met his side chick at the party. Crash the party. Crash the party and went ham. And him, like a nigga, sat back and just watched. Like, yeah, watch this shit, nigga. Just watch. Watch. Ah. All right, so, so let me get this straight. You a scumbag dude, too. Yeah, okay. just come back. Hold ass come okay. back. Okay, I have to be really real with you. I'm not saying this because, yes, if you knew that, it will be a movie. But no, those type of dudes put up red flags all the time. <laughs> that is an instant red flag. And, and I have to, and this is where D's mad. Priest is too OP not to know that. Yeah, Eddie's That's the only that one. That is my problem when you put these characters <clears throat> in these movies and your protagonist oh. is like that. Now, that's Wait, and, and D, hold on. I got something for that. See, Seeing that situation right there pop off, that that instantly took me back to a uh, classic movie, Godfather Part Two, and that made me realize one thing. Mm-hmm. Huh? Hey, Michael, you were I mean, you were the right brother to be head of the family. Your older brother Fredo was not that dude. Because you think about it, no, that no. motherfucker couldn't even control his wife. Now I don't say control his wife. I'm not saying control your wife as as a you control uh, every move. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Even though that was the time. <laughs> that was the time back in the day. It was the uh, years. Uh, but, uh, like, but I uh, uh, don't forget. Uh, you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> but no. But I digress. He had no control of his wife. You know. He never. Like he never had, like he never asserted his dominance as yo. I'm the man in this relationship. Boom, 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 boom. Mm-hmm. You like he he like he never displayed any of that. And the same thing goes for uh like go for priest boy Freddie. I'm like bro, your baby mama crashed. Your main chick crashed the party. Gets into it with your side piece and have a whole ass fight in the middle of my house, fam. Y'all spell wine on. Like, like, oh, like, y'all spill wine on my freaking rug. First of all, that's not even just the rug. That is alpaca. That is twenty five thousand dollar alpaca. You block that shit, okay? Oh, here's my thing too. I also, early, yeah, like, no, also, no. and the second you start a fight on me, hey man, I'm trying to holler at you, Priest. Yeah, you know what? I, yeah, no, not right now. Like, no, but you also no. too. And you deserve every. But on top, of, mm. but on top of that though, when he's trying to get put on, you also forget earlier in the movie, a scene before that, Eddie and them did a kind of uh without Priest's uh. Orders oh, yeah, without- did a drive by on a snow patrol to make it seem as though it was another gang. And Priest is looking at A like, nigga, why did you do that? I did no, no, I get the juju was wilding out on you, but I did not want you to do a fucking drive by. No, did you, you know what? Did you, I, no, hold up, but did you like how he tried to rationalize that shit by saying, I I did it. I ain't pulled the trigger, but I definitely pressed the button. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, full disclosure. D. How many dumbass niggas do we know like this in our real life? Full full disclosure. Full disclosure. So D, I'm asking you, did you do it? Oh, I didn't do it. I got niggas to do it, but I didn't do it. Motherfucker, you did it. Chris, leave the room. 
Chris Lee's wrong. I fucking did it. So what, nigga? And then me and Harris will be in there for the next eight minutes. All you hear is shouting in the door, rustling every 18 here's seconds. The, here's the sick part. <laughs> no, D, no, D, I walk back. I mean, I walk to the back. <laughs> Lock the door. Now you just can't leave. Like I said, all you see is the... Oh, you see, like, you're yelling, hear, like, random sounds. Like I said, the door just, like, rattling every 15 <laughs> seconds. Not because we're trying to get out, but it's obvious something's going on in that room. Here's the kicker about it, too, is that Freddy's baby mama, well, his, his, you know, his main chick, snitches to the Snow Patrol about the drive-by. He's like, yeah, he said he was going to get some seekers that day, and I was tracking him on his phone, and he was Boy, actually the same. I was I like, yo. Location yeah. on, on his but phone. here's the thing that gets me. <laughs> no, she said the line, technology's a bitch, ain't it? Here's the thing that gets me, though. The A couple weeks or whatever before, um, homie, um, uh, 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 Earth 18 Gucci uh, walked over to Priest and asked him the truth, man. Like, nigga, you had anything to do with that shit? No, the fuck I didn't. Like, come on, man. You know that shit. Like that shit between, like that shit between Juju and me. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Like, honestly, if I wanted how, to, dead am, that am nigga, I really I dead? Did that shit I would have dead. I would have dead that nigga, and I did not. No, and because he's a boss, I would have dead it. Then I would have told you that was me, like a fucking man. No, you know I ain't that damn petty. You know I don't, I don't need care. help. Do- like I don't need help doing this shit. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing with D. Usually bosses understand crap. They know how stupid their subordinates get. It's when they don't realize that their subordinate is fucking stupid or is going to be a problem that they do this. Man, uh, like, yeah, but it came from somewhere. It came from somewhere with your niggas. When he sat down like this, okay. Yo, Priest, kill that whole crew right now. Kill them right now. I know, I know, I know you had Get rid you. of all of them. Because I know, I know, know niggas. Cause I know niggas that would that right there, like nah, nigga. I know it came from somewhere over there. We say that it's like this. Okay, you gonna be a fucking. I, I, I know you're the at the next uh, thing I see. The the next mo- like, the next step you take towards me, I'm fucking your whole shit up. That should have been you, it. You know, that should have been it right he, there, dog. Especially when he had said, "Oh, he said priest, nigga, you still on that shit? I told you to let it go. You fucking up my money." <laughs> turns around and goes to priest main chick number one's art gallery to try to start some shit I like you know what this, I, oh and that's the other thing I want to point out too throughout this entire movie I love the consistency of uh of, of your boy from uh snow patrol that nigga that nigga was literally a video game character he did not change his outfit once I mean once you see one thing like that he wore that the whole movie no Juju no, wore that the whole movie. no 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 oh, that, no no yeah, I'm talking, about, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about his boss. Oh, My yeah. He not... wore that the entire movie. I mean, yes, he wore he, got, he did yes, he at one point. Yes, he took off the jacket. He still wore that goddamn turtleneck, though. he wore that though. the whole movie. Now, I have to point out shout something out to, here. Look, shout out, to, shout out to all big niggas that ain't got a neck, and we still do it. <laughs> uh, I have to point out that if you're going to do something like this, you made Big Boy the mayor wait, of Atlanta. Go, let me tell you. Wait, wait, wait. Go back to <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you put the DVD logos on the titties? God I bless you, it. sir. God bless you. I fucking love it. Cuz <laughs> D realized this shit going on YouTube, isn't it? Fuck, I got to cover them brushes, <laughs> don't I? Okay. <laughs> no, no, because to tell you the truth, if we were doing no, if we were doing this for real, for real, we actually had like the video footage playing. I would just love to see like our the fucking movie. Logo of three this, this this whole scene just, looks like it wait, took wait, place. Wait, wait, that whole wait, wait, scene looks like it took place at Stadium Nightclub and shit. It looked like it. looked like they did it. It looked like they did at Magic City, didn't it? No, no, nothing no, no, was no, at Magic no, City. No, no, no. It was that. No, they they cordoned off a section of Magic City for them to use. Hey, I, I think actually, the wings are popping I, up. I, I, I hate they to probably go were. this far. Actually, Shit, that was the catering right far. there. <laughs> I hate to go this far. It's Atlanta. That's a soundstage. That is a soundstage. Atlanta is full. All of Cobb County is full mm-hmm. of warehouses where they just shoot movies in. I'm not playing with you on that, nigga. <laughs> Good Lord. So, yeah, like, as much as I think that was a real club, that was probably a regular-ass soundstage. 
<laughs> so, so, so we have to talk about Big Boy is the mayor of Atlanta. Let me tell and, you something. Let me tell you something. If you want something, something to be from Atlanta, to be purely Atlanta, you get, get that nigga. No, you get that nigga from Savannah, Georgia, to come in this movie. <laughs> I like how. Just imagine if you will. This is a story about DC. Yeah. So get that. So the nigga. So the mayor of DC is gonna be a motherfucker from Ocean City. This it's on that level. It's that far away. He's the mayor of Atlanta, and he figures into number one subplot of the movie. That plays into the end of the movie. Number two, Freddie. Uh, we did this movie, and this is the one that me and shout out to our boy Lucas. We were cracking up at theaters. Lucas was like, "Don't tell me they're gonna put some black lives, in. you sons of bitches." No Freddie word. gets pulled over by the popos, mm-hmm. and the cop is a white guy, and the cop is literally doing, you know, you doing those movies where the white guy wants to be all black and be singing, you know, the black songs and stuff. He's singing. What, what, what song was he singing? They see me rolling. Yeah, and I was they like. <laughs> I really wanted to go through the movie and just punch the officer in the face because I'm like, dog, this is. The- stop, stop, <laughs> stop. Now, I get why Lucas said that. Shout out to Lucas. How you doing, brother? And I get and I, I get why you feel that way. But as a dude that has been around what I call low level gangsters and getting pulled over by the cops, you want to hear some corny, fragile, white, small dick masculinity. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> I remember we got pulled over Some white and a man. cop told us, and he's like, Yeah, I love it when he's like, he's a I like I love it when they speed. Won't you pull that car over? Or some shit like that. He yeah. So, white cops who think county? they got what county? What white county co- what, what was that? Actually, that was in North Carolina that happened to me. Hold on, <laughs> what county? Wake County? Huh? Wake County or it, it, it was probably Vance County. It was probably okay. Vance County. I don't that know. That sounds about right. I, sounds I'll about- be honest with you, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about white. All right. Sounds about no, no, white no. to me. D, so so what you're telling me is you had an encounter with uh with mayonnaise myron. Oh, I get oh. mayonnaise myron more than I want. Cause he always call it all right, yeah, license registration. Oh man, you don't look the same. you don't look the same. Got dreadlocks now. Oh man. Yeah, that's different, man. They might <laughs> what was your you. first clue? He's like, like, oh man, I thought you were somebody else. If you don't run my fucking name, nigga. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. I'd rather get pulled over by fucking a chief Gillespie fucking cop in North Carolina than some person trying to be all like, "How you doing, fellow? What's up, my man?" I'd rather get pulled over by no, a Gillespie. No, that's what I'm saying. I mm-hmm. have got pulled over by a cop like that. Me and my cousins, me and my friends, got pulled over by a white cop that one like, "Yeah, stay a man. Y'all gonna pull us over like that little thing that white people like to make fun of us." I dealt with it. So him saying the rod <laughs> dirty thing. Here's me. That that's on brand of white but ass. Was so that is ridiculous. on brand, especially when you got something in the car. That is not the first white. And here's cop the sick part. The sick out, part. Oh look, look. They, they, there's a white cop that pulled out a dime bag. This day. Oh, I see you riding dirty. The I sick part is that dirty. Freddy's side chick couldn't shut the fuck up for shit. Because after think, get no, after being explicitly told, you were given instructions. Don't say because shit. Because Freddie knew the jig. Because I think Freddie knew if he didn't up. say anything, the cop would not have searched his car. It would have been like, all right, cool. Give me your license and registration. Fine. Right? He could have just so, shut up. He as soon as his just gr- shut the as fuck up. As soon as his side chick sat there and said, we know our rights. I'm like, oh, God, don't shut the fuck up, lady. Shut up. See? See, but then, guys, this is also the other. Uh, this is also another situation, too, when I look at movies like this. Uh, Freddie and Priest Boy. My man said, huh, that's a $600,000 watch you're wearing. Wasn't the whole point of this party was for us to be celebrating the fact that we've been low-key moving the shit that we've been moving? And all it takes is one thread, one mm-hmm. thing for somebody to look at you and notice you're walking around with a $600,000 watch. And the thread was him giving that brick to Freddie. Him giving it the brick. It was amazing. That we right had... there. Hold on. Hold on. This goes right back to... Goodfellas, you pulled off the Latanza heist. What's the number one thing you're supposed to do after pulling off a heist as big as this in the 1970s? Shut up, be low key, don't buy anything big, don't do nothing stupid. Very simple instructions that you have to do. Just knowing the fact that you're sitting on a shitload of money that you're gonna get, that you're gonna eventually get access to, 
And all you have to do is just be quiet. And all it takes is one person to fuck it up. And guess what? One person fucked it up and it created a domino effect. One and person runs. Hold on. One person. Money. I was like, one person rolls up in a freaking pink caddy. Another person comes in with his girl rocking a fucking fur coat. Why are you doing this? You, you can let the fur coat go. I, I no, you go. cannot let the fur coat go. Like no, the, no, you can't. We had this discussion. The fur no. coat could have stayed. It's no. just that you had the goddamn nerve. Why pink? Yeah, why, why pink? pink? I, 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 Eris, Eris, I have watched that movie a billion. Pink. See, if it was like a brown, ugly brown. I was like, yo, man, ain't nobody going to notice. Pink. No one's going to notice a pink Cadillac. Pink. Kept the sticker on it, too. Yeah, he, he did. Kept, they kept the sticker on it. Kept the sticker on it. Eris, Eris, if it was navy blue and you purposely bust out a light, you know what? I see what you're doing, my nigga. Pink. Pink, pink and white. I can't, I can't pink get and white. With white walls. With white wall tires. Shit like this. Are you trying to get noticed? No, I mean, the, the, it's shit whatever. like this is the main reason why you can never have a crew. And and the thing it, of it is, it feels that way. Like every time I try to crack that code, yeah, you can. No, because seven no. of them are going to go to jail. So and that's if you're doing one. the right thing. And that's if you're doing the right thing, okay? So, so <laughs> Freddie ends up spilling the beans to the cops on some who it is that's selling the drugs is priest yes these two the and cops. the crooked cops and they tell them it's priest and the cops are like all right you let go and that clearly you get... get me they made him do coke and i was thinking like what was the point of that what was even the point of that oh, oh so they have a reason to pull him over the second time and shoot him and say he was high on coke and he was going <clears> after me it's the equivalent of sprinkle some crack on them, basically. That's all. I it know, really was. But I know. But no, no, no. <clears throat> hey, D, I really hate to bring a, a much better character into this. It's called Batman Prep Time. Fuck you. Um, now, here's yeah. the thing. <laughs> right. now, now, and, now, but here, you know I'm right. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> when the cop shoots both Freddy and his side chick, right, you know what had me rolling? That fucking funeral scene. I laughed my ass no, off in the no, theater. No, what had me. No, what had D rolling was Wait, wait, I said put the gun down. Man, what the fuck you... I don't know why. Now, this is is coming from D, a person that had a fucking panic attack when I saw Philando Castile die. This is the same dude that's seen that, that gets mad over shit like this in real life. You know what I did when I saw that scene? (laughs) 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 That nigga look really confused. He's like, what the fuck you... <laughs> that's because of the dude. That's because a lot of times why. that no, no, just no, made me laugh so hard. No, D, D, because it's a difference between a nigga with dreads and Jamie Foxx with full man bush. <laughs> Motherfucker said man bush. Man bush. I'm just saying Yo, he had the freaking he had the fro scene. and the beard. So <laughs> that funeral scene oh. had me rolling because not just the Let's singing. Not just the singing. The singing. I, I was Come fucking on. laughing. Come on, Here's niggas. what got really, me. Niggas, we're still doing that. <laughs> Go ahead. And not just singing, not getting just one person to be singing, you know, you know, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so hard to say goodbye. To no, not even it's a, not one person singing, you know, the Cooley High theme from Boys to Men and, you know, and shit. No, nah, we got a whole acapella and all that shit. Then on top of acapella that, Freddie. Christian rap. <laughs> Freddie, Freddie's, Freddie's, uh, Main chick is crying on there. I'm like, but lady, you were ready to fucking cut his ass off. I'm like, you sure, set him sure, up. Sure, sure. Okay, sure. I hate to be dark on this one too. Um, when I was living in the trap, I heard a murder go down, mm-hmm. and after the murder went down, the girl who started it, the girl who got the guy killed, <gasps> I don't know why it happened. I'm over there like this, and I pull the pick. What? And I, you know, I got sad because you know somebody fucking got murdered. But I'm like, I hear her in the alleyway screaming, "Why did this happen? You started the fight." <laughs> Whatever. That right there, Lord, why did he leave me? You? Do you just? Do you see these are the girls that Eris loves to like anytime you any li, ladies listening to this, if you hear anytime Eris talking about bitches, these are the bitches he's talking about. Just dumb, just stupid. 
stupid. Just planks. They're not worth y'all defending. Those girls. Just, just. <sighs> fucking the thing is, like, eating are the only two things I'm good for. That's that. Those girls. Two <laughs> like, things happens. Oh. Two things happen to the funeral. One, the cricket cops come up to the priest <laughs> and was like, "Yeah, have a kid." <laughs> They go up to priest and they sit there and tell him, hey, we know about you now, so uh, we're going to be in close contact from here on out. The second is... Uh, 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 the, second, <laughs> the second is uh, Scatter rolls up on him at the funeral and been like, yeah, I know you've been going by I like how I like how Scatter was trying to call out Birdo. He wasn't picking up Birdo, wasn't picking up that guy. Like, uh-huh. So... Looks like time for the best actor in this movie to actually do something. <laughs> actually. Oh, Which I ain't gonna, oh, Michael K. Williams is. Michael K. Williams, you know, while we here, brothers, while we here, we haven't talked about Michael K. Williams since he passed. So I have to, like, real quick, Mike, I miss you. I f- fucking miss you. I wish you never did that shit, brother. You should still be here. But anyway, yes, he's the best actor in this fucking movie. I guess. Stay about it too. <laughs> I will stay about I mean, it. You know, and, this, and, look, and I like Issa Morales, which is funny because this is our second movie <laughs> this year we have done with him. Issa Morales being in this movie is equivalent to when he popped up as Deathstroke in Titans. We we're like, huh? All right. I know, right? See, <laughs> see, I ain't the only one that's soldier, evil soldier, soldier boy. First of all, uh, Brian. Actually, first you know what? All, like, see, no, Brian. Right, first of all, his like, no, 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 Brian. First of all, you got that backwards. He's not evil, search. But he's not evil, soldier boy. He is Earth thirty eight, soldier boy. Thank you, <sighs> Earth thirty eight, soldier boy. Earth so, thirty eight, soldier boy. Good example. Boy. Good example. So, when he told that story to DJ Vlad, that shit actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> So Juju actually did shoot up the fucking club and shoot up in this house. I'm done. I quit. I'm we dead. lost That's it. End of the show. End of the guy. No, I can no. see him doing it in my mind. I'm seeing. I'm seeing Juju. First off, sir, in, in this Earth 38 world, in this it actually in this Earth 38 world is Juju talking to DJ Putin. All right. <laughs> Not DJ Vlad, DJ Putin. Oh, oh or DJ God. Vladimir. DJ Vladimir. I don't fucking know. Oh, DJ Putin. God. I'm just gonna go with that. I'm done. Oh my God. It's so funny. It's so funny. So, so he come up, he come up in the snow patrol house, and I had to sit there and let out the Draco. Bow, 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 bow. Now I got the snow patrol house, man. Nigga trying to go fuck me, man. So I went in there and tried to kill them niggas, man. <laughs> I told that nigga, I told that nigga, fuck out of here with your skinny jeans. But, but I love him. Oh, wait, 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 Nigga, ain't you wearing them too? Don't matter. Don't these even fucking matter. No, no, no. And nigga, ain't you wearing them? These nigga, these loose fit. <laughs> so they loose fit. Hey, real talk though. Real talk. Real talk. Some I loose fit got... pants be looking like skinny jeans, and I never understand that. But go ahead. Hey, hey, real, real talk. I, I did get a good laugh out of how in the barbershop his boy just got straight shot in the chest, and he's like, "Oh shit." <laughs> I feel Stay bad for the hot. barber. The barber that didn't do nothing. The blah, barber blah, did blah, nothing blah. wrong. <laughs> Barbara Yo, out here, at least fresh out of be- barber school. And look, and this is where I side with Belly. At least the barber and Belly rolled out. Bop, 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 bop. And before anybody say it, no, those are Snow Patrol dudes that ran out there. Not one barber ran out there, too. So, you know, whatever. Yeah, you also, know, the worst, also the worst part. Worst part, they were all barbers that were working there on their day off. So, two things. Hey, so, best part, look, and best part about that, like everything in Atlanta, that murder took place 15 miles outside of Atlanta. <laughs> so, here's how connected Priest is. Number one, Priest is because this is 2018. Priest, uh, of course, Priest is hooked up into crypto. Duh. Of course he is. That was Duh. hilarious. Duh. Oh. That was so. He- it wasn't even. It was. It wasn't heavy handed. But you ever hear people write things in stories and say that they have it to make it sound good? Like you ever heard somebody like, "Yeah, he pulled up in his new brand new Mercedes with big rims and and, and, and really big 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 let- like like it's on that same level." Like, yeah, crypto, haha, <laughs> Bitcoin. No, no, no. You don't this know what, what that is, do you? No, this is what made me laugh the most. When he was moving all of his money into crypto, I like how it just said transfer crypto. Just crypto. It's just generic. It's just a crypto. cryptocurrency. Like, if it said, no Bitcoin, look, no Ethereum. Harris, if it said nigga coin. I'm like, Something. bruh. I'm like, bro, that is a bruh. pump and dump. Bruh. That is a bruh. pump and dump, and you it's know a pump it. And dump. It's a pump and dump. Here's me. 
So why have this not happened in real life? <laughs> so what you're saying is, the, so what you're saying is, three BG needs to just make nigga coin and fucking pump and dump that shit. Hey That's Chris, hey Chris, 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 you haven't talked to Eris, have you? You do realize there's nothing but bros in the crypto game. You really think I'm gonna give white people this much of an inch to whole... be racist? No. There's first off, whole... first off, because because I'm the asshole of the group and be opportunistic and stuff. I'll sell my soul to be to put money in nigga coin and to get rich for a minute. So who gonna like, be the cover of Nick? CJ, going, let me huh? tell like, CJ, let me tell you something. See, that's whole... where it gets out. <laughs> no, the coin is no real talk. No, real no, talk, real talk. No, no, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. No, hold on. Real talk. The the, the nigga coin and Chris, you can get mad at me for this, but the nigga coin that the image we we will use will be the one of you holding up that Jessica Alpha poster. I will I will temper I will temporarily Take These myself Chris away. NFTs are awesome. <laughs> Chris <laughs> NFT. <laughs> I will temporarily disassociate myself from 3BG to save the brand to associate myself with Nigga Coin <laughs> because I don't want 3BG to get dragged under, underneath underneath for that shit. I, I oh, would no. I tell you, I would... no, 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 no. This bad boy <laughs> is worth yes. so much. <laughs> That's the that's my NFT. That's <laughs> no, did you hear that? Y'all can't copy and paste this one because I own this one. <laughs> Chris, I got hey Chris, hey Chris, hey Chris, you're my best friend. I got eighty of these niggas. I, can't <laughs> <do that. laughs> I, will, I will literally be like, guys, I need, um, this needs gonna, to be a coin. I, I need a shot. <laughs> I'll be like, guys, um, I'm gonna be temporarily not part of 3BG because I gotta fucking you know shekel these uh these <laughs> nigga coins. Just shekel these nigga coins. <laughs> You make it sound way worse than it needs to be. No, I'm that serious. Do you know, like, when it comes to crypto, do you know how many <laughs> pasty coin. ass, you know how many pasty ass motherfuckers are pushing that shit? Those are the crypto bros. Yeah, those crypto bros, you really you think I'm going to call something nigga coin. Nigga coin. You, you, why am I going to give them anything? Yeah? No, nah, but he has crypto, right? So he has all his money in crypto. But we forget also, too. Early in the movie, in order for him to get his connection to Isai Morales, Isai Morales is about ready to fucking throw that nigga out the fucking plane <laughs> in, over over Mexico. And he all of a sudden he's like, "Yeah, I know all about your brother. I know how, you know I know what you did, and I'll keep that shit a secret. But I also know that you can make more money if you just do this instead of doing what Scatter does." Isai mm-hmm. was like, "All right, I'm listening." I mean, real talk, the man did go through that entire ass Sicario plot just to get to him. It really did. It was the like, yo, yo, I was waiting for fucking old boy from Sicario to pop up out of nowhere in a special guest appearance. Like, he's Isai Morales, like, muscle of the group oh, or some yeah. shit. Thank you for that. Yo, Thank you yo, for yo, that. yo, 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 yo. <laughs> that was true. I was like, also, time out. Yo, you mean to tell me Eddie waited there to even go to Mexico? To Thank you. He just this, ain't, this ain't a situation where... Where uh, George got off the plane and Pablo got him right off the plane <laughs> and Diego had to stay at the airport. No, this is not this the nigga, same. This, this nigga, nigga stayed drove. after hours. He this stayed nigga after drove hours. An extra. This nigga drove. This nigga got picked up and drove an extra four hours. Yeah, no, I want minutes. people to understand this. This like, was the yo. equivalent. It was the equivalent of a swap meet. Swap meets closed down at like five o'clock on a Saturday. All right. Mm-hmm. So you mean to tell me this dude stayed after five o'clock on a Saturday in Mexico after the swap meet and just stayed there and smoked a J all day until I don't know eleven o'clock at night when he finally came touchdown at night. I don't know, man. I I feel as though that he probably did do that. <laughs> didn't even go into town to get some tacos. Nothing. They just just stay just, there. Just just stay there. there. You know. But on top of that, when uh uh scatter puts him at gunpoint at the funeral, like yeah, I know what you did. Drive. Well, how long you want to drive? Just drive till I tell you to stop. Drives to Eastside Morales' place or the farmhouse. And I agree with you, uh, Sue. Where the fuck he get that goddamn file showing that this dude was skimming money off the top? And of course, this is like, what? No, no, no. Yeah, not even skimming. The... No, it wasn't. Not the file of him skimming off the top. No, it was. <clears throat> I'm talking the part at the end of the movie. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad. Because he, but the thing is, it's like. So you knew Scatter for years of skimming on top, but you said nothing until Priest presented you with a way to make. This man said, this man said, of all That makes the you years, a horrible drug dealer, sir. Yes, it does. No, the fact that he, the, no, the fact that he said, of all the years that I've known you, have I ever lied to you? Actually, you have. Pop! <laughs> <laughs> 
So apparently, this man got... dumped. This man double tapped, and he said, "I come to find out after all this time, he'd been stealing from me. Stealing now, from the top. now he had been skimming off the top just a little bit. You know, he didn't think I would notice, but he'd done it enough, and he knew better." Most drug dealers, if you skim one time, that's your ass. Yeah, that's one time. Now, 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 now hold on, hold on. For someone to do it for so long, and they and you let it, it go. No, 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 not let it go. They they done it for so long that they don't notice it because you've been making that much fucking money that you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't think you wouldn't think for two seconds, like, huh, we're a thousand dollars short on this one. Or, or the killer season version. You know, I came back from doing. I came back from doing some shit. And I come to find out I'm missing three thousand. You know how you. You know. You know how one day you be making a whole lot of money. You missing three thousand dollars, and you think that you bugging. But yeah. nah, nah. This motherfucker been stealing from me. So he gets shot. You know, scatter, scatter gets shot, and he gets put in an environmental cremator, cremated that turns into <laughs> black goo. Which I'm like, all right. Fine, whatever. D likes to say one thing to that. Good. Good. Why, D? Because if I was a drug dealer and I was killing people off left and right, I don't want you to find them. Yeah, yeah, might as well. I'm fine on any type of cremation because that's the first thing we'll go for. Cremation. Uh, Oh, yeah, and make sure the teeth are broken, too. (laughs) And also, uh, the way that they did it is a way that would make uh, Walter White blush. Mm Mm-hmm. Not bury you in the desert, you get cremated. No, it wasn't even <clears throat> it wasn't even buried in the desert. The shit that he used to do was the acid. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which nah, that's way nah, me- that's way more nah. messier. This one it this is. One? Nah, nah. You getting the reverse uh you getting the reverse Kikio. You just getting right in the <laughs> <laughs> you're So right, you're going right in the ash, you're going right in the fire. So they have problems with the drug with the drug lord because Esai doesn't want Priest to get out the game. He's like, "Oh no no no! You're you're the new scatter. You're you're doing what Scatter does now. Now you're mm-hmm. getting me more money." It's like, and Priest like, is like, "Fuck!" He's like, "How is it? Is it he's like, how is it that you were under him, but you were making better money than he was?" Hmm. So let me just cut him out. Keep you on. Huh. So Priest can't get out Are the game. Priest over there like. Priest over there, man, because I got my mentor killed. Here's me. Yes. Yes, yes you, you did. did. <laughs> actually, here, actually, and they just have, they have to be this person. For a motherfucker, he's so smart. How did you not see that coming? How? Thank you. He got the Jimmy <laughs> Hoffa special. Thank Alle- no, wait, 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 wait. Allegedly. Allegedly. Because uh, we still uh, don't know. <laughs> to this day, people still wait, don't how know. Did, how did they kill him in um in uh, in um, the Irishman? How oh, in the Irishman, they... yeah, he got shot in the back of the head and, and was burned. Head. And was burned. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was, yeah. Like, all I yeah, know is the reason why oh. because I just saw Hoffa not too long ago with Jack Nicholson and DeVito, and he just bopped both of them niggas on the head, threw them in the back of a Mayflower truck, and drove the fuck. All off. I know is I saw Jimmy Hoffa at Coachella, so nigga might be still alive. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You went to Coachella? <laughs> <laughs> fuck Jimmy Hoffa. You had tickets to jump. You had fuck, tickets fuck to jump. Chris, I don't know how much money you... How <laughs> much Shh. money are you making? Shh. I'm actually I'm actually concocting nigga coin on the black market. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Nigga coin. And we got some brand new NFTs too. Like Dude, this don't... one. Like this one. And don't forget about <laughs> D's favorite one. This one. That's already been taken by DJ Sue, but don't tell nobody. That's right, nigga coin. <laughs> no, 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 D, you forgot to do it. Lo- you forgot to do you it set like set yourself up for that. No, 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 D, I was D, glad you did it, Chris. D, Thank you me. forgot to do it. Hold on, D, you forgot to do. You forgot to do it like a uh, like Time Media, which is and many, many more. <laughs> and many, many more. God, but no, like also, also, I wish I had another one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, D, hold on. One other thing. Shh. Don't say anything, Chris. You're supposed to give me the green light to go on Reddit and tell everybody the stuff. Also, also, we have one more NFT with a special guest appearance. <laughs> one little story about this. This was the day that Casper Van Deed. If anybody's watching this, this is the day that was the day that Casper Van Deed. Oh, Three black geeks. <laughs> that kind of racist. I think, he said so, I think it was more along the lines of, huh, it's not racist, is it? 
<sighs> I was Arthur fisting the entire time. <laughs> Eris looked at me like, did, did Juan Rico really say that? Like, did Rico really? No, no, no. Juan the, Rico. Uh, hold on, Chris. He said that to me right after he gave me that damn Rico shirt. The year before. In the year before that me and Chris met him, this arrogant white prick <laughs> acted like there was no such thing as a black geek. And that just surprised him. Meanwhile, there are another there's another podcast beside us like, <laughs> like so niggas ain't allowed to watch Star Trek Troopers. <laughs> See, dude, this wasn't I like, like how a white guy named Casper was playing the dude named Juan I just I Rico. just want to say I just want to say that the writer of RoboCop is catching Rich strays in John. this by the way. He's catching strays. He's catching strays for no reason. Just want to yeah. put that out there. No, no, no. I'm out. no wait. See, hold on, Chris. This is actually poetic justice. Motherfucker, you broke RoboCop. You know how to dodge. You already know. <laughs> you already know how to fly, Bobby. You already know that already. He caught a stray on that one. I was like, yeah. <laughs> This is what it is, man. <laughs> no, but if you no, but see, if you know if you note the look, no, but if you no, but if you note the look on Chris's face, that shot alone, with my man looking at Chris giving the approving happy face. I'm just saying, you look at Chris. Look at the joy <laughs> the on his joy. face, <laughs> saying, "This motherfucker never met a nigga before." Hey, look, 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 look. <laughs> all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, all I'm, I'm saying is, a, no, I'm gonna no. put a pin in that one. All I'm saying is, beautiful, beautiful. I am happy. Woo. I am. I am happy that that NFT is gonna be graced with the the awesomeness of lineups that was just great for Comic Con. <laughs> <that year>. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just saying, I didn't, you know, you can't just give him an NFT with the fucking black geek fucking no, shit, no you shape cannot. Can't, can't what, do that. what I like can't to call shit. Look, look, look like the Norberg, looking like the Norberg track going on. Oh, the Norberg ring. <laughs> look at the Norberg. You ever see the you ever see the track line of that joke, man? Boy, you know how many nah, black I mean, dudes look. Don't let it be no, many, don't let it be the look, Scuba Express. Ayers, do you know how many black dudes? Do you know how many black dudes named Justin is always a Justin? <laughs> that got that that got the that got the clippers that die five the seconds die. in and then wake up ten more seconds as you go down. No, anyone with that first, uh, of, all, first of all, anybody rocking that, anybody rocking that uh that that look. Just got to be real. Rocking no. the black girls don't like me. No, 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 no. no it's not the black you girls. You shave with big razors. No, no, no. With. Stop. Stop. Both of, both of you stop it. They are... Stop, both of you. You know damn well that shit is not called that. That is called the I make top eight at Smash. Oh, <laughs> uh, sir, 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 sir. That it has that the only way that works for top eight and smash is it's the shitty hairline plus the I haven't cut my hair in like <laughs> the mini fro, month. the mini fro <laughs> the that's buff, not even buff, even the, the buff, the buff bush. <laughs> oh, oh, aka, aka the shit that I was rocking like the first six months of fucking quarantine before I had to like get the clippers and like and clean myself up a little bit. Yo, yo. Yo, motherfuckers uh, thought oh I was God. looking like an incel online. I was like, oh <laughs> shit, oh no, oh no, oh, like, oh no, hell oh no. no, oh hell no. No, hell I get no. pussy, I get pussy all the time. Ha ha, look how deep my voice is. I think I shit this shit. <laughs> meanwhile, no. I had it. Like, meanwhile, I oh, had man, go. I pull it out now. What? <laughs> Nah, meanwhile for me, I had to go get like first of all, like meanwhile for me, Chris, I had to go get the damn comb through. I was like, nope. Nope, not nope, not doing this. Not doing this during uh, lockdown. No, Come through, but, bitch. We're going back. We're going back to Superfly. So, Pre- what about you, D? Oh, I just got nothing but all this growth. I'm just such a thought, am I? <laughs> but what? No, real talk. During COVID, when my hair, my hair actually really did grow, like about probably like four or five inches during COVID. Angie straight up called me. Look, nigga, you a thought. Look at all this shit. <laughs> You ain't I'm shit, like, sir. I'm you sorry. ain't shit. You ain't shit. You ain't shit. Mm. <laughs> Terrible. Oh boy. I still remember Al Roker doing that. Whoa, whole wait. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes. <laughs> That's the I call it the freshman special. <laughs> hey, look, all I all I know about Al, all I know about Al Roker is I remember when when I forgot who what politician was on there. He was doing that whole twirling. He was like shaking twirling the uh his glass every five minutes because they said some bullshit he was like all right man all right cool that 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 all right mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Now, Al was- Roker, the last thing I remember, like, I know, like, the last funny thing Al Roker did to me was when the news came out about Fire Festival, yeah, and you do have an option to go in for next year, Al Roker. Up to a 10 next year. That's going to be next year. Boy, Al spoke for everybody. They're doing it again. Boy, I got speaking like- of which, speaking of doing it again. So Priest has to contend with how do I get rid of these cricket cops? How do I get rid of Snow Patrol? And how do I get underneath get out from underneath Misa around Isa around Morales? Oh, yeah, and don't forget about this. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about us? Our future? We gotta get out. I mean, crypto. We're gonna get out of the country. We're gonna use. Will you which... stop saying crypto? <laughs> hey, he went to that fucking dude to get them passports using crypto. His girl dropped that money on there when the dude was like, "So how much you gonna pay? You take cash? Yes, we do." Plop, and he just looked at her, looked at the money. Well, okay then. <laughs> Let's do business. Let's do business. <laughs> One POC to another. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I too am a POC. Yo, if you talk to anybody who is a person of color and they say I too am a POC, that's a fan. Get out the room. Exactly. Run. 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 I will literally put the I will put the whoopee go over from ghost. You better run, girl. That's, you in that danger. Is a, that is that is a nigga that is still that is a nigga that got orders from J. Edgar Hoover to make sure <laughs> your black ass goes to jail. You in danger, girl. You in danger, girl. Run. You, in danger, girl. you in danger, girl. Hold on. Speaking of which. Ain't that what Priest was doing? Didn't yeah. he talk? Didn't he meet up with an actual cop? Yeah, he he has a cop. Yeah. He actually has an Atlanta PD cop under his belt, and the guy coming from a, a <laughs> wing stop, and it was already like, yeah, I really like these uh these uh was it garlic parmesan wings? They're really great. I just love it. Hi, so hi, trying something Shaw. new. Hi, 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 hi. How you doing, guys? D Shaw, three black geeks. Um, I just got a couple things to say. Um, number one, uh, this is a Superfly movie. Um, uh, the way I see it, it's going pretty good. It could be better, lots better if I were directing it, but I'm not. Um, but here's my first question. Um, so, um, uh, Wingstop is actually from Dallas. That's a Dallas-based um 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 group. Um, I know Rick's Rick Ross was here, and that's the connection. But um, and this is just this question. Why do we go here, but not to Crystals, not to Waffle House? You know what, nigga? Cookout? It, no cookout? No cookout. You know what I would have taken? <clears throat> you know what I would have taken? I would have taken a Denny's where it's, where at least the waitress said sugar. I would have took that. No. 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 The, no. no. no, no, no wow. The, I, no. Wing stop. No. Let, Wing no. stop. No, 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 no. You know, Eris, crackheads only eat lemon pepper chicken. You... First off, I love lemon pepper first, chicken, but yeah, you're right. No, first, lemon, first of no, all, wait, no, stop. Lemon, lemon pepper. No, <laughs> no. See, you're asking for too much, D. They could have easily just went. Let's to go Gladys. to Checkers. No, you could have easily just went to Gladys. Yeah. Go to Gladys Night nice Spot. You could have had the oh white guy come God. in. Could have had a white guy go into his fucking Bugatti, into Priest's Bugatti, and been like, "Hey, these chicken and waffles are smacking." You know something. You know. God, I or missed least, that. Or at least I this. missed or that shit least. so much, man. Or at least this. Or at least this. Like, what you got there? Who's Gladys Knight? Who's Gladys Knight? You mean to tell that me? That would have been. That, that would have been perfect. Is. No, no. You don't know who Gladys Knight and the Pips are. She had Pips with her. No, pit, man, get out my car. That would have been a funny scene. <laughs> no, yo, a yo, funny gives him the, gives him the money and sit? tells him to get the fuck out. Like, first of all, how you gonna sit in my car eating chicken and waffles and you don't from, even know who, like, from, 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 from <laughs> one of the queens, one of the queens, the best to ever do rhythm it. Rhythm and blues. <laughs> no, you gotta say the whole thing rhythm and blues. Rhythm you and mean blues. to tell me, you mean to tell me the woman who is the architect. Or archetype for a lot of the singers who are still out here today. You don't know who Gladys Knight is. But why was she with pit with pimps? Pips, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Look, here's the information you need. Get the fuck out my car. That would have been great. Oh no, 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 no. Out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Out, no, wait, nigga. D. Hey, D, hold up, hold up. Get the fuck out my car. No, no, no. Matter of fact, give me that shit. No, I'm taking the wings in. <laughs> like, in so, Until you so, learn so, your history. I might as well get this over with. I said it earlier. 
So at this point, Snow Patrol decides they're gonna make a run after uh Freddy's baby mama gives them the All info. Right, I gotta make, make this joke real place. quick. Hold on, mm-hmm. I gotta make this joke real quick. Snow Patrol. I said Soul Patrol. Soul Patrol was made by that white guy that was on um, on American Idol that kept on doing all the black black songs, but he really really sucked at it. But the only mm-hmm. reason why he got voted because he was like a country version of uh, of of George Clooney. But come to find out, that nigga was like only thirty one years old with a full set of gray hair. <sighs> had to get off my stairs. Go ahead. So, <laughs> so Snow Patrol rolls up to Priest's uh, mansion and he starts shooting up the club. And um, yeah, Priest's uh, main chick number two gets shot up in the most stupidest of ways because she tried to do like old boy from New Jack City and try to just ah. All right, all right, all right. First of all, we got Chipotle Keisha over here. Chipotle Keisha, what? Eric, what? Wow, just that's just racist as shit, but I approve. I, you know. How's that even racist? Chipotle, not not even like Boy. you know, just no, because Keisha, you know, Keisha, since you mentioned New Jack City, so I was like, huh, let me put two and two together because all Keisha. she's doing, first of all, all she's doing is yelling in incoherent I mean, uh, Spanish. I mean, I would have said firing a gun with no aim, by I mean, the way. I would have said Qdoba Keisha, but you know, that's cool. No, I'm sticking with Chipotle because that's what it was. The way she went out. She didn't have fact, to. No, and the fact that she was firing all them damn guns and had the nerve to reload and didn't hit a fucking thing. Meanwhile, no, you main, are getting that title. Meanwhile, main chick number one at least shot two snow patrol people. See, that's why mm-hmm. she the down bitch. <laughs> she that's killed. Why she look, she look, killed that's what, center of mass. <laughs> center of mass. I agree. She caught the better tomorrow fade. That's what I'm saying. That's why she got four minutes before, before, before she walked in. That's why she she gets at least that. Much. I want people to understand that shower scene was literally the uh, two weeks before retirement uh, shower. That shower scene that for shower me was scene. that shower scene for me was that one buddy that's not in a polyamorous <clears throat> relationship, but think that he is turning you like, yeah, see, that's my life, nigga. <laughs> No, it's not. So, no, it's not. Here's... You look. No, it's not. That's a walk-in shower, motherfucker. You live in an apartment that don't have a functioning shower. Shut the fuck up. Don't do that. Don't do that. And the two girls that were there, they don't like you. <laughs> hey, 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 we talk a lot of crap about Juju, but you know what? Juju or G, he went through that fire and didn't get not a single burn. I like okay. how he went through. Okay. No, well, okay. technically, hey, hold, hey, on. Hey, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did wait, you wait, see wait. that? You want to cut? Wait, you want to no. want to fix that? <laughs> wait, D. Hold on a second. First of all, CJ, the only thing that did get burned was that PU leather uh, <laughs> jacket that he was rocking. I mean, you're right. You, you are straight right. on the arm. Meanwhile, his boy was just left to burn. His boy was like, "So you're just gonna leave me here to burn, huh?" All right. <laughs> Yo, he's like, so, I got "So you're just gonna leave, so you're just gonna leave me in a in a ring of fire with my dick in my hand, huh?" Motherfucker, I actually got motherfucker. I guess get, motherfucker. I make money in this movie. Shut the fuck up. So can we talk about? Can we? Can we? T- I'm can gonna we, drive this top heavy ass Escalade. Can Can we talk about this? This whole dr- chase I'm sequence. I'm with which, motivation at this point. This whole hold up. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're gonna. We're gonna. Fuck it. Might as well. Cause I don't what? care. I don't care. I don't care. Cause I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Chris, what is it? What's what's up? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Watching oh, this we're, as a family. We're oh, watching we're watching this as a family. This as a family? Cool, as thank a family. you. As a family. Right, watch here it. we go. Now, look at, like, once again, top of the SUV. <laughs> First off, okay. I thought the cars in this movie were okay. Oh, you mean the cars? Yeah, I thought they were all right in this movie. The car the car selection was pretty all right. No, 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 no. no. You got it wrong, D. You mean the cars were the stars of this movie. Ah, yeah, thank you. This is a decent, I want people to understand, this is a decent chase sequence. It's decent. Yeah. Nigga, that's a hurricane. That's a hurricane. AKA the a... U. Hey, hold on. This is this is the YouTuber's Lamborghini. I'm sorry. Is that an R? That's an RF he's in, right? No. I don't think that's not an R. I know that's the Lexus. I think that's the RC. Now, Juju be being RC. in the uh, Juju yeah, being in RC. the Escalade. That that's that's yeah. You you were never gonna chase them, Juju. You would never even catch them. <laughs> Again, ooh, ooh, you're in. <laughs> Again, you're in a top heavy ass SUV. The fuck did you also, think was gonna happen? Also, also, real talk, Juju, you should have been launched out of that door. <laughs> that being said, how was a hurricane? Hurricane, 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 whatever. I'll call her a Corona personally. 
The baby! I got it, I got it. So, I'm going to say this. I don't think the Huracan would survive driving in that park as low as it is. Oh, I, <laughs> I know. That front Actually, axle would have been done. Act, yeah, yeah, yeah. This ain't, that ain't the performance one either. Hell no. That whole thing would be dead. That ain't the race car. That's not the race car one either. Yeah, right here is where it would have been done. Oh, yeah. Especially going over that bus. That RC would have been fine. The RC would have been fine. I'm calling bullshit with this whole... This Why? is where it gets funny. This the, is funny what's right the here. What's with the Matrix part right here? I'm going to kill this bitch. I'm going to kill this bitch. I like how you I'm going to kill this bitch. AOD, famous last words. <laughs> I know, right? I like how a nigga that can't fit in a motherfucking... Uh... Come around, you shoot out the windshield so he can't see you. Bro, uh, I love these hey, video game... Hold on, hey, I love these... I love these video game instructions. Look at this! She Watch his face! So Look at his face! All right, let me tell you guys something. The fact that he, the fact that the car plowed and exploded you, you see, into guys, you into see. the Confederate flag. But you see, guys, you see. he he crashed into a Confederate statue, which symbolizes Confederate statues have got to go. They're you racist. also are putting out there that black people have the power to bring down the Confederacy in our own way. See, the gangster, see, just like that person that was on that horse, the brother that ran into him was only. Looking for his own destruction. So you, so what you're telling me is the only way that we can take down oh. Confederate statues is to sacrifice ourselves. So I'm gonna put Actually, this out here. Actually, Eris, Eris, what I'm indirectly, is, <laughs> indirectly sacrifice black men in Italian sports cars. Yes. So um, now we we're understand. Driving, driving on the grass with no traction. So we go to this God, out. man. Just imagine, if you will, you at Michael Beck's Park and a nigga getting chased in a, I don't know, there's a nigga getting chased in an auto, uh, 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 a fucking, um, uh, in a Mazda 6, getting chased by a nigga in a fucking Diablo. And the Diablo goes careening right directly into a, this is not a real statue, people from D.C. This is not a real statue. It goes right careening into a Donald Trump statue. Is that what you're trying to say? So here's my thing. Here's my thing. Here's the thing. I would me, pay, buddy. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna keep it more real. I'm gonna keep it more real. Uh, uh, Vernon, not Vernon Square. The square George Washington in the middle. Did they yeah, take right. that down already? Maybe. Did they take down George Washington down? If they didn't take it down, I would take it down. That's the perfect statue to take down. So, to. so we have to. I have. We have to recognize this. Um, a guy that we all went to high school with. Um, he's in this movie. Yes. And he uh, he carried. Our boy, our boy Gary Peoples. If you do not know this man, he is a stunt. He's a stunt. He's a stuntman. He's a stuntman. stuntman. A pretty goddamn good one too. Double he's for a... Batista in Guardians of the Galaxy and yes, Infinity sir. War and Endgame. Uh, he was in Luke Cage. And uh, yeah. he was in Black. He was in Black. Di Black Dynamite. Black Lightning. <laughs> Black Lightning. Uh, Black Panther. Uh, uh he's... And look, it was great. And real talk. And I told this. To, and, and Gary, if you never heard me tell you say this, I'm glad you can see my face. If you never heard me say this, when I saw you on screen on Black Panther, my heart kind of just it, no bullshit. It kind of <laughs> like, my nigga. I and I and real <clears throat> talk because, and like I said, Black Panther's a B for me, but. That whole, you know how it was, the blackness of it, of it all, Chris? And I was like, my nigga's a part of that. Oh, shit. I want people to understand. <laughs> no, see, for me, hold on, hold on. Because both of y'all got, I mean, both of y'all got stories about him and shit. Like, y'all know, I met him. I got, no, sorry. I ran into Gary again, like, long before uh, his jump into Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, both of we used did. to, did you, hold on. Did you see him back when he was working at Andrews? Yeah, I remember when he was working at Andrews, wow. and, I he was work and I remember when he was working over at uh, Six Flags doing a stunt show. Mm -hmm. It was Adventure World. Now, here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. Even though I lost track of Gary after, well, like, well, his like y'all first second year in all high school, I stopped knowing anything about Gary because I knew him in middle school. So, but here's the funny thing: through the grapevine of knowing people and shit like that. I heard about that when he was a stuntman at Six Flags. That I did hear about. So that's kind of funny. So I want people to understand. Thank you for that memory. Thank you for that this memory. Is, this is Gary's face and look throughout the whole movie. It's just this. He he he, he plays the muscle of the Snow Patrol to perfection. Mm -hmm. Don't he gets oh, three show, lines in this movie? He doesn't do nothing else, and it works. So show Gary's best shot from this movie. This? No, not that one. The other one. 
That one. Yeah. Yes. This is where he gets his three lines. And real talk, Gary had shot me a message after I put out a review for Superfly. And he literally was like, yeah, Little X, he gave me lines for this movie. I didn't know how to react because he gave me lines. I didn't know if he came off. He's like, dude, that did, was I good? I was like, Gary, you were fine. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's three lines, man. Like, you can't hey, fuck up those three hey, lines. You're fine. Hey, like, look, 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 <laughs> Gary, you're fine. Because all the all the actual critiquing of the acting that we do, it ain't you, nigga. You're fine. <laughs> we got no, a and- problem. Look, 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 we have a problem with the niggas who were trained to do this. Like, like, imagine if you will, for real, Gary, if you did a stunt and you rolled your ankle on something basic, you wouldn't want that either. So that's what we're dealing with all these actors over here. You're fine. You did nothing. Let wrong. me say no, but let me no, but let me say something about this. This and, and this is to Gary and everybody in his, in his position. What makes the characters that they play so great is the less lines that they speak. Yeah. You know, and hell, this is you, this is just, the only thing he gets speaking lines just, in, and that's just it. being, you know, just being the big imposing figure, just being stoic as fuck is cool. Mm-hmm. It adds, it, like, you add that layer of mystery to that character because you're always wondering, damn, is he gonna say anything? Is he like, is he gonna do something badass? Stuff like that. Hell, he could even be, uh, like, for the next Batman movie. Let's say the next Batman movie comes out. I want Gary to be that guy. Who like who opens the door, sees Batman in the room, closes the door, walks back. The other uh, the other goon comes by and says, "Hey, anything like anything wrong? Nope, everything's fine." <laughs> and walk away. Hey, Gary, he hey, wants Gary. no smoke with Batman. Hey Gary, you want D to be proud of you? Get punched in the face by Batman. <laughs> That's even better. I'll take look look. I love what Eric said. I hope you're the one to get it. Real talk. I want you to be the one to get roundhouse, and I, mean, I will see you no, for the rest. No, really, that, that is what I want. No, but no. Real talk. Real talk. I really do want, like, for the next movie that Gary's in, like, big action movie. I want him get to be the like smartest. That, no, I want him to be the smartest goon. Here's be the thing. smartest no. goon. <laughs> no, 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 no. So no, when I say be the smartest, drop the no. gun and leave or something like that. No, 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 no. Not just drop the gun and leave. Like he, like he knows what's about to happen. He knows some shit's gonna go down, and and knowing that. This shit ain't worth the 10 grand a month that he's getting. Eric. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Chris, Chris, perfect scene. Perfect scene. One of my favorite scenes in all of Venture Brothers. Remember that big old muscle bound dude was cracking his knuckles and Brock was doing something off screen and still growing at him. He finally went, man, forget all this, man. I'm just doing this on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> or, or better yet, That's or, what I want Gary to have a moment like that. Or, like, or even, man, like an even better screen, one. Like, even better one. Uh, <laughs> CJ. Uh, even better with CJ, John Wick one. John rolls up behind Big Man at the club. What's going on, man? How you doing, Mister Wick? Want to take the <laughs> night off? It's like, how, how much weight did you expect? How, how much weight did you lose? About He's sixty like, kilos. It's like sixty kilos. Yeah, you look pretty good. You look pretty good, man. Why don't you take the night off? Take the night off, man. Pulls out the earpiece. Thank, Thank you, Mister. Thank you, Mister Wick. Mr. Wick. <laughs> oh, I am fully prepared. For something to happen, and Gary come on screen, walks outside. Mister Wick, how you doing? Get up, get up, man. Yeah, yeah. He's in the back. What's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> All I'm like, saying he don't is, want to know, like, 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 like the second he see John, like, oh shit, it's John Wick. Hey, y'all, I mean, man, stand back, man. It's him, man. Y'all lost your mind. Y'all fighting him. <laughs> the closest we're gonna he get. He got his I, ass whooped before by John. That's why he's I, 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 I think. I think by virtue. What's your problem? I think by virtue because we talked about Look, Bubba Yeager, nigga. <laughs> we talked about it before we started the sh- we, we started the show. Um, I think Gary is apparently in Black Adam, possibly stunt dumb in the rock. I'm assuming. That's yeah, an assumption. You know, ball head, big ass shoulders. You no, know, ball head, big ass shoulders, light skin. Possibly, yeah. Hey, Gary, I swear to God, if you come up like, no, I was actually one of the Hawkman. <gasps> Cool, which one? <laughs> <laughs> I would have been mad, nigga. Which one was you back behind? Hot, uh, or, or, like- or, 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 what if he's Adam Smasher? Nah, nah, it's a dude don't in a mask. Do don't look, hey, hey, look, Chris, Chris. My my penis only uh, goes hard. I would want my you. penis only goes hard for men in certain nah. times. Don't 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 get me <laughs> Gary, Gary, th- uh, Gary, this this is for you, sir. When the live action version of Invincible comes out, please be Battle Beast. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, 
I or, need him to or, be Battle Beast. Or, or, or not Luke Cage, the rock dude. Yeah. I mean, you know. But nah, so at this point, after that whole car, after, after the that greatest whole, car race. Actually, <laughs> actually, actually, Eris, I want I want Gary to have his Undertaker moment. I want Gary to have a moment where it's, you're a dead man, Ramsey. I want him to, ah, they, me. they did it. They did it. They Undertaker him. See, so at this point. That can only work in the 90s. Only in the 90s. So you at this point. Now. Here, look, do it now. And that's Gary's career. Oh, <laughs> this is career. oh God. <laughs> Oh God! What the fuck look, were they, they thinking? Oh God! Why they do that to my boy? Look what they did to him! And hey, y'all want to see a dead body? <laughs> oh my God! So here's my thing. What? what, look, look, what Gary, look, here's Gary. Well, look, get the derby. Well, that's fifteen off. That's fifteen years of my career off. <laughs> see you guys. Look, see you guys later when the kids appreciate me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chris. Go ahead, man. So I'm sorry, man. The, the, here's the plan that gets enacted. So Priest and Eddie play up that they are estranged and they had an argument, and Eddie decides he's going to go to the Snow Patrol side. And you know, to Juju's credit, he's like, nah, something don't feel right. Why does Eddie all of a sudden want to be part of Snow Patrol? And I like how Eddie was like, I just want to be part of the winning team. And somehow Juju's like, okay, cool. I love the fact that he told... Come on in. No, I love the fact that he rolls up and says, I want to be part of the winning team. And this was all because they had that fight and they haven't spoken to each other since that fight, right? I'm like, oh, I get it. Y'all trying to be clever, movie. I got it. Dude, they even, uh, like, he even unlocked a, a, a new costume. Did Eddie, see, version dude, 2.0. Did you, did you see Eddie with the drip? Hey, <laughs> hey, the hey. Snow hey, snow. super fly. Hey, super fly. Hey, super fly. I'm not buying DLC for this movie, so come on. Let's <laughs> I, oh, wasn't, oh. I wasn't sitting here thinking, you know what version of Eddie I want? So here's like, Priest's plan. He's going to lure the Snow Patrol to his furniture store that he's... Because basically what happens is, here's how Priest expanded. He uses his furniture store as a front to put the drugs in and expands out to different places and then, you know, gets the money back. So all the money during the montage of them playing the Superfly theme is them getting all the money and they're laughing it up. We can't even close the safe. Ah, ah, ah. And, uh, you know, so I actually will get some weed. I'm your pushing man. Even they're smoking coke at the hookah. They're doing coke at the hookah bar. Uh, so Eddie Lee Snow Patrol. Eddie Lee Snow Patrol there. And what do you know? Apparently, Priest got the cops there too, and the cops basically kill all of Snow Patrol. <sighs> Bro, the FBI open up moment was hilarious. Just, just. That's what you heard. <laughs> they kicked open the door. Waving the 4 4. Waving several 4 4s. Niggers letting, are dead! <laughs> and letting every clip be empty. Heads on pikes. <laughs> no, no Russians, y'all. No Russian. <laughs> That's what I'm like. I like how Eddie roll cancel out of that shit before the door even got like not even clo- open yet. He's like, and I'm out. This man, like you said, he roll canceled. <laughs> Yo, Juju tried to get out the back door, and white lady, white lady Karen cop just shot his ass. I'm like, well, well. these y'all three black like geeks. And that's hey, that. These y'all three black geeks. How you doing? Uh, again, um, this is just in my notes. I was looking again. Um, so when the white cop kills Juju, um. Mr. X, I got a question. Would it have been more satisfying if Priest was the one that did it? Or, you know, Eddie may have did it or something. Why did it have to be the white cop? And don't say he didn't want to get his hands dirty. Nigga, he's a drug dealer and this is the third act. Don't do that. Why did it go to her and not someone else more central to the movie? The belly is very strong in this movie. The belly is very strong. That's all he's saying. <laughs> yeah, you know what's funny? I the actually, belly. for a second, thought it was the same. The white cop was the same chick from Twenty One Bridges that was corrupt. Yo, yeah. yo, it's not her. No, that ain't her. It's not her. It's not I was her. Say, it's not I her. It was her. Like no, I thought ain't. it was her for a second. It's like, oh, it's not the same cop. They look alike though. They white, really white, do. White women and cops kind of look the same because she actually, actually, this cop but, actually. But, but, D, but D, both of them have the same ponytails too. 
Yo, actually, I give you one better. The cop that I was thinking of the whole time when I saw her was actually the cop. Um, she was the white cop that was in um Law and Order Criminal Intent with um um Vincent um uh, Vincent Anafrio. His partner looks exactly like her, and I was like, why do all you bitches with guns and badges look the same? I'm tired of this. So <laughs> it's so, like Mariska Hardate and a bunch of blonde bitches that I can't tell the difference of. So basically, that priest's whole deal with her was, "Hey, I'll deliver you Snow Patrol, and I'll give you some money." And I'll she's like, "All right, cool." Food. So after she did all that, she's waiting for priest to come there, and all of a sudden, you see cops rolling up behind her, and she's like, "Wait a minute, what's what 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 are you talking about? I'm not the drug. What what?" And then she's getting arrested, and it's all because. He has Big Boy in his pocket because Big Boy was doing coke off a stripper's ass. And that could have... And basically, Priest was like, hey, I can help you win the mayorship again if you do this for me. And that's That's how he got the cop arrested. So you see what I'm I'm saying, man? He had... So you see what I'm saying, man? He had the mayor in his pocket. The old is poker, man. He got all this shit, man. So he he not only has it from the political game, we got the drug game. And wait a minute. What happened to uh 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 Escobar Morales? What ah, 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 ah. Hey, his ladies mom. and gentlemen, time for something kind of stupid. So his mom has a file that shows that he's been snitching. Because Isai Morales basically told the <clears> priest <throat> up front, yeah, I snitched on my own brother because I didn't want him in power because he was too reckless. So I wanted to be in power, so I snitched him to the FBI. And he never told his mom this because he just felt he thought his mom his mom thought that hey you know eh, she's was, none the wiser yeah his mom was just like oh I just thought your brother was being reckless and just got caught being stupid as usual okay fine but when she has the the file that mysteriously popped up out of nowhere and was like oh yeah I have this file here that says that you were snitching you were you were you were you were, snitch, you were snitching on your brother I may not like your brother and yes he was reckless but and no very he, stupid very stupid but you killed him. No, I would res- basically it was I would have respected you more if no, you no, shot I would him. Respect it. No, I would I don't I would have respected you more if you'd have just killed him. But yeah. instead you snitched yeah. and got him put away. Yeah, I would have just I, like I, I, and you I thought I, hold on and you thought I would approve this? She would have grew a mama on that. Yeah, actually. she would have been do. you know, she would have been a couple of two key scenarios who've been pissed off at you, you know, but afterwards she'll let it go. Hey yo, Kurt, hey yo, Eris. Eris. Real talk, real talk. You snitch on me and I get out, I'm fucking you up the second I find you. It ain't, you better go to Japan and find a basement because no, I will fucking hurt you. You might as well sh- shoot me. No, no, no. Shoot see, me. The, Be no, a man. You're my best friend. You know no. the right way to kill me. No, no, no. See, that's the thing. That's the thing, D. I, even I would have to go, I, I would seriously have to sit there and Walter White the situation and go, what would I gain by snitching on him? In this case, the you know what? Here's the funny thing. Uh, in one <laughs> hand, hold on, dude. In one hand, I could snitch on him, but he won't. But he would have time. He would get out. And he would track me down and kill me. On the other hand, I could pick up this thirty-two, <laughs> this thirty-eight special, and I could just end the problem. I mean, here's the funny thing, though. Here's the funny thing. In the beginning of the movie. When he talked, when uh, where priest talked to uh, Issa, he said, "Don't your mama run everything?" And when his mom showed up with the little Lupin the Third pistol in her hand, I was like, "Oh yeah, forgot that was." Oh, that's how he gets out of gonna the game. On- gonna be honest with you, I think Issa got the worst death. At least Michael K. Williams was dead when he went through the uh, process. He went through the process alive. Yeah, that's worse. Yeah, way worse. Because <laughs> he was all like, "No, mom, no, mom, don't do it, don't do it." And she's like, "Yeah, nah, bro, you, you gotta die." Sorry. Uh, all right, one more thing before I die. One more thing before I die. What? <laughs> Real Madrid, some shit. Kill him right now. <laughs> <laughs> you love soccer, don't you? Like, like, yeah, mama. I said it, mama. <laughs> so. Priest gets the cop arrested, Isa Morales. So you think he's out the game, right? Then this movie decides, hey, 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 you remember that white male cop? We got one more for you. So I got a question. I got a question. Bro, this is question. every third act rolled into the last I 10 minutes. Had, like it kept going. I got a question. Chris, are you about to break out what I think you're about to break out? Are you going to break out? Continue. 
I got a question though. So of all the stuff, why that loose end? Why is no, why, that? No, why, why is, is that, that the loose end? That no, you no, need no, to take D, care no, of D. Before why? you you leave. No, D. Why was this the last on your checklist? Shouldn't he tell you know what? I thought he, he would have died in the first. I thought he would have got thing. arrested. Should, should, yeah, yeah. Shouldn't he technically been arrested? But apparently, since he was um, relieved of his duties, suspended temporarily for killing the black man, he wasn't <laughs> part of it. That was the excuse. It was, hey, they temporarily suspended me, so technically, I ain't really part of this. So y'all I'm gonna leave hey, with hey, me. Hey, hey, it ain't my fault that you kill a nigga and only get thirty five days. Okay, so <laughs> it's a fucked up system here. I just want to tell you that. Like, hey, hey, I'm, I'm a, hey, hey, I'm against it. I voted for Stacey Abrams. Okay, hey, <laughs> like, hey, D, I tried to get sixty days, but <laughs> hey, fuck me, right? Hey, hey, I thought Obama was right bringing the troops home. Okay, <laughs> just look at this shit. I'm thinking the movie's over and Priest is just chilling. Nah, this. I promise to weed out corruption in the Atlanta PD. I'm a man of God. 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 Man, of God, man of my word. City of Atlanta towards the light of a bright and prosperous future. That's some Marion Barry shit right there. Nah, nah, that's a nigga that that lies for life. So here's the best part. Atlanta policemen. Here's, here's the, here's the worst the of the policemen. The, 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 hold on, hold on, guys. This is the best part. See, the fact that he got out the car. And he's approaching a uh, priest. You know, isn't it great that he doesn't have the de- that he made sure to turn the dash cam off because he was expecting to get money? Mm-hmm. Ed, Ed, yeah, I got a good question. What? So, was you expecting to see a fight? Surprise this is the brother's heat. Not gonna keep me from my money. You're not nervous. Made a few phone calls. They ain't got shit on me. I'm a hero. Mayor himself said so. <laughs> See, you can't right. have me looking dirty, especially when there's an election at stake. This man is secretly Stop. wearing a Blue Lives Matter shirt on. I swear, I know, right? This whole movie was written by a black dude in college that don't know how white people talk. That somehow <laughs> predicted 2020 oh, shit. Oh, I love it. I love that. That's the part I like. The, the oh, nut kick. Shit. No, 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 no. All right, hold on, chill, chill the fuck out. <laughs> and then it becomes Def Jam Fight for New York. Hey, D. Hey, 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 Priest knows Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and he's letting this fucking Blue Lives Matter guy. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Spoke too soon. About to beat him like a slave guy. Uh, I like how people like I like how people like our friends like, oh great, I guess he's beating up a cop now. Yeah, keep doing it. <laughs> I got this a click. There goes the arm. You got to see Rodney King get his ass whizzled. This is fine. <laughs> hey, Priest, like, no, I love Priest right. I love Priest with that moment. My man had to flick the hair back like I messed up my perm. <laughs> but look at the song though. Oh. Hey, Priest, run his ass over with the car. I don't need to do that. No shame in this game, guys. No shame in this I ain't going to roll over the cop. I just beat his ass and drove off. And I took the weapon with me. Now, that, look, and now that cop is going to be able to go back on the streets and arrest more black men and abuse them. I don't know, man. You know, Earl over there. I'm pretty sure there. he got killed Earl over, or something. Earl, Earl over there, Earl over there uh, left the force with pension because he's, like, paralyzed. <laughs> Oh man, Frederick <laughs> looks like <laughs> y'all so both, basically y'all are both wrong. You do know his name is Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. I mean that's know. clearly a Kevin. So basically, uh Colin. we end we, end, we ended with Priest. Colin. Kevin we ended, Murphy. We ended with Priest and his main chick on a boat somewhere. I'm gonna say the Caribbeans or no 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 Montenegro. Yeah, Montenegro. Montenegro. Montenegro on a boat due to his crypto money. And uh he's calling Eddie. And Eddie's like, hey, I'm content with living in Atlanta. This is all I know. And I love it. Eddie's going to die 
in like two, two weeks months. later, he was like, murdered. Is it? Is I this mean, the? Is this a doughboy at the it's end of the boy? Like I said, oh, Eric, Chris, like I, Chris, I just said it. I just said it. Two weeks later, Chris, he was murdered. <laughs> hey, Chris, Chris, think about it. I'm gonna leave my boy staying in Atlanta, staying in the With all in this the drug money, game, all, all that this. money. Hold on, and let's just remember this was the same dude. That made sure he, that let his boy get a brick and start this whole chain of events. So I think his decision making is sound. Well, He's to be fair, dead in three weeks. But to be fair, He's Eddie is now Eddie weeks. now has Rick Ross and the other dude that could be from Atlanta under his. Rick wing Ross now. is going to take over that whole thing. Wait, priest ain't here. Oh. Oh, Rick Rick Ross is going to come with his own crew called the Teflon Gang. (laughs) I just laugh at the fact that uh, Freddie had one nigga for look. This one one nigga for DC, and look, here's all Wale. Yeah, that's right. I'm from DC. I'm from Southeast. (laughs) All of us, Wallace. 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 Really? No, that's not Wale's real name, but. Wallace. It's Olu. I think it's like Olu something. Owalo. O- 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 Ole Owalu. Walu. Ole Ole Walu. Walu. Something, like, something yeah. like that. Something like that. But whatever. No, we're from DC. Wallace. <laughs> yeah, think Wallace. Wallace. Hey, nigga. Me and Eris was one of 14 people that saw you at the car show that year. So. Oh, that yeah. was a real. We couldn't oh, even. Those, like... those were real numbers I just said, too. And hey, hold on. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> we couldn't pay you to do Dig Dug. Not now, not now. But so, but back then, but back then you would flip for that shit, huh? <laughs> yeah, my Nike boots. <laughs> I like Wale. His last album actually wasn't that bad. It's actually pretty good. So here's my thing about Flo- Superfly. Flo- uh, Florin was actually pretty good. Pretty good. I actually love that. So I was. <laughs> so here's the thing about Superfly. Um, it it definitely flopped at the box office. You gotta I remember. You couldn't tell. I mean, you, you gotta remember. This is 2018. Remember what came out in 2018. We are coming off of Infinity War. This came out um, like about a month after Infinity War had already dropped. Yeah, this had no chance. And so it, you're ta- and, and, and also during a thick time of movies. Oh, too. oh, it came out same opening weekend as Incredibles two. So it was dead on arrival. Yeah, it was dead on arrival. So understand what movies and Incredible. Be- and let me tell you something. Incredibles two is, is very weak compared to the first one. So that really tells you but, how bad but, it is. But same time, still better than Cars two. Come and, on, cars. Yeah, look, don't do that. that we're about to see that, a repeat. Low, man. Come on. That's we're about, and the sad thing is, Chris, we're about to see a repeat of that same action next month. Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. But I'm gonna be, here's the movies that, that were ahead of it. D, d, again, heavy hitters. Incredibles 2 opened at number one. Ocean's 8, number two. Mm. Tag, which was actually a sleeper hit. It wasn't a hit. It, it was. It hit. actually it made money. Dope. It wasn't a hit. I was gonna say it wasn't a hit, but it made us money. It was a sleeper. It's a sleeper comedy. Yeah, sleeper because comedy. To this day, people still don't know about how funny that movie is, man. Uh, Whatever. Solo, a Star Wars movie, which broke even. It didn't really blow up box office, but it still did pretty decent. And, but... it, and, it, and the thing Wait, about the Star Wars movie, did this was... movie get? Hold on, uh, Chris. Did this movie get also get beaten out by uh, Super Troopers too? No, it did not. I would say this, or uh, Chris. Mm, Chris, right there when you see. Right there when you said Solo. Now, that's another thing about Solo. Solo is one of the weaker releases from Star Wars. That tells you something again. And, De- and Deadpool 2. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then Superfly at number six. And then after that, you got Hereditary, which already made like a ton of money. It already made his point. money at that point. Avengers yeah. Infinity War was already, already at, like, made, his money. made his money. Adrift and then Book Club. But hey, guess what, D? Guess what movie Superfly did beat out? I'm listening. Our movie Gotti. Mm. And you know what? Here's the funny thing about both those movies. Both of them, tremendous potential and... <laughs> you know what I mean? Tremendous potential because this movie had the same kind of things going for it. It really... Like, this movie, while not bad, kind of just messed itself up on the plot and that's pretty much it. Because everything else, like, the plot is so predictable. It's like, okay, let me guess that's going to happen. Now, you're going to be right with everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's it's... It's belly with an actual plot, and it doesn't have the Africa nonsensical bullshit at the end. You know, but, it's like you know, let's take like well, I'm not Chris, no, nah, because I I know niggas like you. Y'all love to hang on this. I'm hanging on <laughs> no, to look, that because no, no, just... no, 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 but, let, but this is what I'm, I want you. I want to do you. I want to just do me this favor. Okay. Let's take off that plot. Okay. Do you see what I mean? 
why this is the do you see you actually do see what I mean by this is this just a weaker version of belly. And not, not a weaker version of belly. It's 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 better than belly, but not by a lot. Yeah. But not by a lot. It's just like mm. it's, a, it's a low bar. I mean, it's, it's, now I got a good question. Now this is actually a good question. Who's better? X or Hype Williams with pointing that camera? I'm going to say better? I'm going to say I'm gonna say Height Williams because X benefited from being behind Height Williams. Now that I realize, like, I'm, I'm, I'm the off same with. way. I'm the same way. You can tell that he's the student of. of I Height will Williams. say this: X benefited with this movie because he actually had an actual screenwriter doing the story for this movie. Yeah, it wasn't a and wasn't a rapper either. No, all you know, somebody's gonna say Future. No, Future only produced it. Yeah. Okay. Future was one of the yes, they, one of the they actually paid money to it. a yeah. screen and the screenwriter that did this did a screenwriting for the Watchmen movie. Yes, the Watchmen movie. And um what what the fuck was the other movie that he did it for? Um he did it for hold up, hold up, because I have it up actually. Was it yeah Alex say it was Watchmen. Uh oh he did the uh the seasons of a uh, Wu Tang and American Saga. So he's like this um, like I said, this is, this is a person that knows you know, ain't you ain't got nobody yeah, stupid doing decent it. screenwriter. You somebody, he knows you he knows his way around point. something. You got somebody confident. They know what at least they're doing. Is the story strong? I, no, it's, well, not, not really. It's basic but, as hell. It, but it's other way. Like that's just that's that's pretty much it. It is not, and I think that, and I do agree with you, Chris. A lot of that, a lot of the knock that this movie gets is so undeserved. It is so undeserved because people have to let go of belly. People have to let go of expectations and people really, really need to. And I mean this because our generation, we're about to be the older ones in about a couple of years, about five years from now. Mm-hmm. It ain't going to be about us. It's going to be about everybody younger than us. So as a person that's saying this, that's seen this, stop being so hard on everybody that's young. Stop. It ain't your movie no more. Stop. Stop! You just have to I had to do the same thing. It. I do the same thing with Teen Titans Go. Look, man, Teen Titans Go. It's it's a it's a kids show. Shut up. Well, what about us? There's reruns. There's Young Justice on. Are you watching Young Justice right now? You're not. Why? You should stop. That's what I'm saying. Stop. Why do we do this thing where we're so, where it's the newest thing and it's especially when it's new and it's trying to be a remake, and it's black, why do we automatically, it ain't the way it used to be. No, it's not, you dumb nigga, because it ain't 87 to. no more. <laughs> it's not supposed to. Be and Eris check each other with this every now and then when we think the other person acting too old. Eris, remember back in the day? Man, them days is over. <laughs> but I want people to understand somebody, something here. Anytime somebody does that, man, them days is over. Stop. Here's the thing, folks. D, you're right. Future did produce this, but you know who else produced it? And we say his name all the time. <sighs> oh, okay, let me tell you something about these black kids today. These black kids today, they party just the way they did back in the 80s. And uh, thank you, Sugar. And the way they do it is just so differently. See, the, see, see, hold on one second. <sighs> One, Fuck. Joel, um, one, Joel, Joel, one, Silver. Joel Silver. Oh, look, look, Joel look, look, Silver. Look, look, Chris, you gotta do all this. Ah, whoa. Okay, so <laughs> the Matrix. <laughs> I really would like to know. <laughs> no. <laughs> what was the room like with Joel Silver popping in for Superfly? Hey, hey, I'll tell you what I it was like. Know. Hey, so <laughs> first of all, we had to. Uh, they had to introduce um, somebody to assist with the direction in production uh, with this movie. So they had to call one Joel Line Silver. I want people to understand the two movies that's ne- that Superfly is nestled in between that's that, that Joel Silver did. He did The Nice Guys before he did Superfly. Wow. Great movie. <laughs> Great movie. You know what movie he did after that? Oh God! Was it? Ma- it wasn't the Matrix. Oh no, no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 He did a Cohen's brother movie, Suburbicon. He did Suburbicon. Wow, Joe. George Clooney directed Cohen Brothers. Written that is not Suburbicon. a bad. Suburbicon was not a bad movie either. So I'm you, a, so it's look. like Superfly feels so out there. All right. Way more, way more than Project X was. I want people to understand he did. He, he produced Project X, which is a ridiculous movie that you should not watch whatsoever because that movie is stupid 
but you just super fly. And I'm not mad at it. It's like, wow, that's you did nice guys and then super fly. If you don't say anything about Joel Silver, this is the one thing I love about Joel Silver. He will take things. He will take if he believes in a project, he's fucking taking it. Then again, he did running. say he did Romeo Must Die, and that's a black as hell movie. Yeah, too, yeah. And, Ro- and yeah. also, and also, that's the one thing that I give Joel Silver. I don't know how close he is to the black uh, community, but I yeah, I know this is bad company to put him into. But much like Harvey Weinstein, he gives us fucking chances. He gave us action. He, he produced Action people. Jackson. He get black people. He opens doors for black actors. I will not. I will not take that away from him. Action man. Jackson, my nigga, and puts us over too. He did action. One of our and this is real talk, Mister Mister Silver. I know you're not listening. You're a big time movie producer. But if you ever hear us talking about your cocaine days, keep giving this to us because real talk, pound for pound, three black geeks' favorite fucking producer is Joel Silver. I do. We we are not bullshitting you. We get joy when we see the word silver. We're like, oh, he did this. <laughs> we you're the only person we react that to. Jerry Bruckheimer, fuck that nigga. You, we like you. <laughs> the thing about Joel, the thing about the Superfly DVD before we go is that I laughed that the, that the big get for it, the tagline is for the producer of the Matrix trilogy, and I'm like, they did uh, okay, yes, they, yes, they did. <laughs> That's the get. That's the big get. Hey, you want to see the guy that produced the Major Trilogy do Superfly? Watch and it. And it's kind of funny. Everything you saw. I mean, was, every movie does that. So you know. It, the one problem I do have. The one problem I do have. I do have is that um, a lot of these movies do not put over um, the young talent, especially in black movies. There's a lot of older black people. Like, who that? Who that? I ain't never seen him before. You know what I'm saying? So I feel that Trevor's ja- Tre- Trevor Jackson's name should have been plastered everywhere. I yeah. feel that I feel that his name should have been plastered. Hell, even on uh, who's that? Who played on um, Juju? Kalon Walker. I think his name should have been out there. I think his name should have been like, feel... like you have to put some of these new, these younger stars over. I don't even know the name of his chick, young. Yeah? What's her name? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's oh, she that played Georgia. Yeah, I'm trying to find who's your uh Lex Scott Davis. I know she was in a couple of stuff, but I gotta be yeah, she's in the L work. I know yeah, she's I did. Yeah. Wow. It's like I know she's been in a bunch of stuff, but I got a que- I got a real good question. She's How many people that- can name her? She was in that BET oh. show that Ty big up then. It was uh, called Rebel, which was basically AKA uh, Rebel. Female, female Shaft. And Homegirl, who um, Homegirl who played Cynthia, she uh, she was in Narcos. Yep. I mean, let's be real. Narcos came out. It was a who's who of Hispanic people in that show. So. It really was. And to be honest, this was uh, she had only Gosh, been she doing. Is from Mexico, so she up, had only been doing like you know stuff for like since 2014. Yeah. So her being in Superfly in 2018, it's like, bro, you really only been in the game for like four years. I mean, Kalan Walker, I'm going to say this. I feel Kalan Walker might end up getting swapped up in the Tyler Perry school of being thrown into a show at some point. I feel like, you know, like, like, he, like, like, yeah, I would like to say, wow. yeah, you, you can call him whatever you want to call him. I give you that. But it's like, yo, get that nigga some, get that nigga a chance. If y'all yeah. get, like, because we gave, if we gave a lot of the rappers who couldn't rap at the back in the day multiple movies to get wrong, why can't we do it to the to the people that actually act? You know what I mean? And that's all I'm saying. It's not that I'm. That's all I'm saying. I just wish that when it comes to movies like this, especially when it's younger, uh, a younger audience, don't lean on a rapper's name. Lean on that person that you're putting out there playing that role. That's how I feel. Yeah, that's why I Make think that I think... nigga star. Man, we ain't got no black stars out there. You know why it took Aldis Hodge a whole 15 years to get noticed? Because that, hey. he wasn't, look, here's the worst part. I love Aldis. He was at Aldis. He was in a bunch of shit. Nobody couldn't name it. He was in Leverage. He was in Leverage? I didn't know that. Yeah, nobody would. Damn it. That's what that's, I'm saying. Nobody I mean, it was the same. That, it was the same thing we were watching. Like I said, the the the, the, the first purge and that black dude that went all black, John McClane. Yeah, I don't even know homie's name. I know he's from Insecure, wow. but I was like, thank you. We got to let you. He could be a decent action star. He really could. Decent. Uh, he got the presence. Trevor Jackson should be getting calls on multiple shows, and uh, not just because he was on Black Black Blackish, but because you did a movie like Superfly, and that proved that you can do action. That proved you can do this and all the rest of that. Hell, you know why that? he's not getting called for that? Because this movie didn't get the buzz that they wanted. Same thing for our boy uh, that was on on um, black on black light uh, light skin of Bama, uh that played uh, Kal- oh, uh the, 
Yeah, Khalil, that dude. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. nigga looks amazing. He's awesome. He's probably only, he's probably gonna give not get what he actually deserves in my book. I hate that shit, C-Dub man. Just kinda, because we don't push these younger people out. He dub pretty much shot down his spinoff, which I was like, eh, yeah, I know. I heard about that. Yeah, I heard about that. they shot that in. Like, look, be honest with you. They gotta make Naomi. That McDuffie rule was strong. No, no, no. It's like this. Like, look, look. Ava DuVernay means more to everything. Shut the fuck up. It's like Jordan Calloway. Go. Unfortunately, you will not get your show. You will not get it. Anyway. <laughs> but anyways, that's super fly, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, oh. that was a that was a pretty good one, man. Next week is going to be uh, it's going to be weird because I think it's going to be a short one, but it's going to, we're going to actual seventies, and this time it's going to be full. Well, uh, 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 a known movie, a known movie. It might be a short, short one because it's a '70s movie. That is across from 110th Street. Again, a, a movie that has it's pretty thick. <laughs> you got like you got enough people in this joke, man. So that's gonna be fun, man. So yeah, that's about it. Right. 110th Street next week, man. So All right. yeah, later. <laughs>